Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Cold Suns, a sci-fi convergence. I'm your game master, Chase, uh, this evening, and we are joined by our lovely uh, crew of players, as always. I'm going to hand it over to them, but just before we get started, I have a few quick channel announcements. Uh, we are continuing to do our Big Churn giveaway, uh, courtesy of our friends over at Green Ronin. Um, you can see up in the up right above the little center box there, uh, we're at churn 23. Well, if we hit any combat, we're probably going to hit churn 30. And when we do that, we are going to be giving away a, uh, a veritable shipload of, uh, of Expanse RPG PDFs. Um, you can see kind of there in the chat, the bot in the machine has just listed all the, all the really sweet kit that you'll get for that. So just type in, uh, exclamation point, big churn or giveaway, big churn, or it's just big churn. Um, and you'll be entered. And the nice thing about that giveaway is it's continuous. So if you don't win today, you could win the next time we win, uh, or the next time we pull. Also, if you type an exclamation point station, we are giving away a player's kit, uh, which includes a copy of the Expanse RPG Core rulebook and Abzu's Bounty, which is their new adventure path, which is pretty cool. So thanks to our friends over at Green Ronin for that. All right, uh, let's go around and we'll introduce ourselves and we'll uh, get right into the recap of last week's episode. I'm going to hand the virtual microphone over to Liz. Hello, folks. I'm Liz. You can find me at no one you know backwards. Um, I use she, her pronouns, but I will be playing Drugal this evening, who uses they, them pronouns. Uh, they are the resident hacker and space potato. Um, you can see in the little character art right next to, is it this way? I think. <laughs> one of those ways. Do this. Yeah. No, nope, you know the, the right. other way. I was backwards. So this way. So, um, a cute little character art that we all have, um, and I think that's all I've got, so I will pass it over to Matthew. Hello, folks. I am Matthew Foreman. Uh, tonight, I will be playing Drake, a mystic source warrior with a blade made of light. We both use he, him pronouns, and as always, I'm happy to be here. One week, though, there will come where I'm not happy to be here, and I will express that I'm not, I am not happy. <laughs> <laughs> I will air my grievances. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just three hours of you, like, <laughs> lambasting me. Yeah, I have a list. <laughs> it's, it's, it's growing. <laughs> you milk toast. <laughs> Piece He's of human cat. garbage. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, it's only... Wait, who's... Wait, who went? Fuck, I wasn't paying attention. I was reading on Twitter. <laughs> Liz. Liz. Okay, and then me, and so then I'll pass it over to Rob. Hey, Rob here at Pyramids or Eight Hundred Four on Twitter. He him. Uh, tonight I'll be playing Tack They Them, who is a colony of worms looking to uh, learn more about the the world as well as protect the group. Um, and I will go ahead and pass it over to Sean. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Sean. I use he him pronouns. I will be playing Dakiri Aba. Uh, she her pronouns. She's the roguish pilot of the group who is still learning to control her shadow powers. And I will pass this over to Alexis. Hello, I'm Alexis. <laughs> you can find me at Fox Fanato on the Twitters, where these days, I'm posting about Valheim and pretty much only about Valheim. So check that out. That's fun. Um, uh, I use she, her pronouns, and so does my character for this evening, who I will be playing is Cassie O'Neill. She is ex-military. She is a bit of a maverick, and she has a uh, she's a blended consciousness human with an alien symbiote called the Tok'ra. And I'll pass it back over to Cheese. Thanks, everybody. And also, I wanted to give a quick thank you to Infinite Monkey Tales for the raid right before the episode started. Really appreciate the support. Uh, we see we have a new follow uh, just now. So, Borgia Salvahe. <laughs> That's my best attempt. <laughs> 
Is the J pronounced as an H? Maybe. Uh, thank you for the follow. Um, we are going to do a quick little video intro, and then I will recap what happened in last week's sessions, and we'll get right into the action. So uh, let's go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage. And we are back uh, from that sweet, sweet intro that I can never get over. I love it. Just lit. Um, so uh, I'm going to quickly recap last week's episode, and then we will get right back into it. Uh, so last week on Cold Suns, a sci-fi convergence, uh, our crew of freelancers had just left the planet of St. Helios and traveled back to their old stomping grounds, the uh, St. Heli... Uh, space station known as Reltac Nor. While there, uh, the group actually did what most people are advised not to do, and they split the party. Um, one half of the party went and met with Cassie O'Neill's contact, Tashin, who was part of a secretive organization known as Grayscale, where he informed uh, Cassie and Dakiri that they had indeed found the the shard of the halo array that the freelancers had uh, done battle on just a few days previously. Um, he described it as being picked clean and mentioned that the pirates uh, led by Antok and Antok's hunters had, uh, had gone quiet and had not been seen in a while. He mentioned that uh, he thinks that uh, Antok should be taken out and uh, mentioned that he would be willing to provide resources uh, in terms of uh, technology and, and manpower in order to help supply the group in that endeavor. In the meantime, the other part of the group searched and investigated the uh, disappearance of their employer, Palak. They infiltrated his office where they found that it had been tossed uh, for information and uh, uh, kind of a security monitoring device had been left uh, after uh, picking through the office for clues, they were able to uh, track down to a specific space station, uh, kind of a conglomerate space station, set in St. Healy space, uh, but independent. And with the revelation that that space station had been built by and was operated by Meridian Dynamic Structures, uh, the same old company that owns uh, the pharmaceutical organization that just seems to have their fingers in everything. Convinced that this is where, uh, oh, and after reviewing some security footage, the group was convinced this is where Polak and his assistant had been taken. So they set out and disguised themselves as unified authority uh, soldiers escorting a Solit Golo, um, I guess you call it ambassador, uh, where they made a successful breaching test navigating their way through this uh, densely populated uh, 
uh, space station and ultimately found their way to uh, a, a warehouse that was under the protection of Prestige Security Services, this group that the, the team had done battle with previously. So we are going to join our players as they are gathering um, in this kind of industrial sector of the kilometer-wide space station right outside of this warehouse, having successfully navigated their way there. Um, let me switch the character maps over to what you guys would be seeing right now. So, and are we supposed to be hearing music? Not yet. You will be. And 14 shakes of a lamb's tail. I have to wait. Matthew's unhappy. It's going on his list. Ah. Okay. Uh, you should be hearing uh, kind of a... What would you call it? Just kind of background noise. It's not music per se. Awesome. So, uh, just to kind of set the scene, I think you guys should be able to see yourselves in the bottom right hand corner of that map. And by right, I mean left. Um, I believe on the stream it looks like. Oh, you can see Takiri now. Beautiful. So, freelancers, you have successfully navigated your way through this uh, this sprawling space station, and you've come to uh, a pretty, I would say, loosely populated area of the station. You aren't seeing much in terms of passers-by. Um, a lot of the lights actually seem to be pretty dimmed, but you can hear kind of the, the bustle of uh oh the turn track <laughs> the turn track is see. already up security guard oh. with dual magnums <laughs> oh sweet it's a secret did it go away <laughs> it is dude Doing great. you gotta hey you gotta put him on the gm layer if you don't want us to see that motherfucker <laughs> okay um so you guys have found your way to the there's a secret that there's security guards here at this at this warehouse. Um, you guys can see this. Ooh, uh, who could have ever guessed that? Never us. I'm shocked. Exactly. <laughs> right. Shocked, per se. This is a TTRPG <laughs> with combat. Um, you can see what appears to be, uh, for lack of a better word, an alleyway um, that is dimly lit. Uh Kind of down uh, a little ways on the right, you can see what is a closed door to what appears to be some kind of like um, industrial building. And uh, a ways further down to the right, you can see uh, an open, uh, kind of like an open drive in, like where you would see like a wheeled vehicle go in. Um, and you can see kind of a dull red light coming out from it. On the opposite side of that open doorway, it's, uh, it's kind of at the very top of the map. You can see what appears to be an airlock uh, or a brig uh, to to outer space. Um, oh, and I would say without even a check because it is pretty apparent, uh, you can see uh, some security cameras. So there's one here, and you can see one further down, uh, further down. Here. Um. Remind me, didn't Drugal pull up where this latest shipment was being stored, like H27 or whatever the label for it was? Uh, it took you to people that came in. <clears throat> yeah, it took you to here. Like the so uh, led you basically to this warehouse, is where it was. Okay, and then I had to be able to hook into one of these computers in the warehouse to be able to see like what shelf it would be on. Essentially, yeah. Um, I think I think what you found was as you started trying to infiltrate uh, their security, one you found you, you realized the station has its own AI, which would make it very risky That's to right. do so. Um, yep. Okay. But yeah, so you can see there's a, a person-sized door here. You can see, and I'm gonna use shift click, so it'll shift the map. You can see here there is a, an entryway that like you would be able to drive a vehicle through, and then right here you can see an airlock to space, which appears to be closed. The, the orangish, reddish, reddish zone in the upper left is, is the airlock? Yeah. Do, can you see text that's labeled airlock on it? I do not see text. I might have put that on the GM layer. <laughs> I did. <laughs> you put the text layer, the text on the, on the there go. GM layer. There we go. There we go. Layer layer. Now, now everyone can see my... You're the one bombing! <laughs> <laughs> 
An airlock to outer space. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's not going to be a churn thing at all. There would be yeah. no way that the airlock would get open. smell the churn on it. <laughs> yep. Um, and just as a just to kind of level set with everyone, I remember you were all wearing your medium uh, unified authority armor, um, especially the helmet, because you were trying to obscure your faces and uh, continue the illusion that you were unified authority soldiers. Yeah, so take that airlock, churn. Yeah, I mean, you'll have... What twenty minutes of oxygen? 30? Don't even. Don't, <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> God damn it. Just Drifting, long enough to drifting, contemplate. Yeah. Your... <laughs> <laughs> just long enough for the space station to become a small blip. At... <laughs> <laughs> just this little load of mode of life. Sure, I'm tired of these cold suns. <laughs> See you pull up through the space. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'm tired of these gold suns. <laughs> Finn, oh, that's no. what's at the end of the stream. <laughs> cold suns, cold suns is about the is about the story you don't get to. Um, okay. <laughs> well, Drake will say. Uh... Well, hold on. Wait, Drake. Drake would say, "I can scout ahead." And get a sense of if anyone, how close people are to that door. I can kind of sense people's minds through walls now. That's a thing I can do. Okay, I'm gonna Still go. Still not that. composed. I'm sorry. <laughs> Drake, Drake is gonna sneak up to that door, being mindful of any security cameras, and also assuming that Drugal might have his back, but. Um, he's gonna sneak up to like that doorish area. Okay. Um, the large one or the person sized one? The person sized one. Okay. Eliz, I can't hear you if you're speaking. Yeah, and then at the same time, of course, uh, Drugal will try to hardwire into whatever the nearest camera is, so get in that blind spot like underneath it and like stick okay. a wire with a splicer thing on it. Trying Makes to get around the AI. Me. Beautiful. All right, so I will have Drake go first. I'm guessing Drake is kind of taking point. Um, so Matthew, I would say roll me. Is that your dexterity stealth check there, or did you? Or no, no, you, no. Are you rolling? No. No? That was a test. Um, I okay. also want to just say, is there like a web of cams, or is just there the one camera? Uh, there's there's at least two that you can see from here. So, but okay. one's one's pretty far away. You think that if you were to kind of snake around the wall. You could probably, you can see it's kind of moving. Um, you think you could time it right to, to avoid its gaze. Okay, just checking. If, because it was a web, I could do something else. Eh, fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, uh, to, to absolutely spare nothing, <laughs> and to make sure we get going here, I'm gonna use uh, invisibility. Yes. The last to the end of the encounter. Uh, I do make it. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna spend fortune; be way too expensive. I, um, yeah. So I go, I go invisible, and then I'm gonna, then I will also sneak up. Gotcha. So, um, go ahead and roll me your stealth check. Although I think with invisibility, that's kind of a moot point. I need to, yeah, really quickly. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't really have any hard and fast rules. Just I am invisible, whatever that means for the narrative. Okay. Yeah, I would say that you don't even really have There's to no, roll a stealth. No check. chance of failure now. Okay. Cool. Right. All right, and I think that costs like eight points. I'll count it down later. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll go up here-ish. I'm assuming like this is like the corner where this is or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I'll stand right here. And then I will use Sense Minds. Oh, dear. Excellent. Yes, I shall read you the description as soon as I get there. Meanwhile, the rest of us are like, did he go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he's dead. We better rush the thing. Yeah. <laughs> We should all sneak in right now. You can sense the presence of other minds within 10 yard radius of any point you can see. With a successful test, sense the presence of other minds, their approximate num number, their general type, and their approximate location within 10 yards. Basically, I'm just trying to get a sense of how many people are on the like the other side of this for about for a good distance. <clears throat> okay. I don't like read their minds or anything. I just sense their presence. Okay. So let's go ahead and roll for it. And... Yeah. yeah, I shall make of the TN. That makes it easily. Beautiful. 
All right, so you you kind of close your eyes um, and reach out with the source, and at first you you don't feel like you can sense anything, and then you kind of get that same groggy feeling that you did before. You can sense um, Palak and a mind that you've never felt before. Okay. And I say you sense Palak because you've kind of engaged with him in that way previously. Mm -hmm. um, and you said rough direction or distance? Yeah. Uh, it feels like it's kind of straight in front of you, almost at the edge of your of your ability. It's very faint. Um, and he seems to be almost like in that ethereal, ethereal, half awake, half not awake feeling. Okay. Okay, yeah, cool. And so there was just two mines. Uh, two mines that you've sensed within 10 meters. Right. Okay, cool. I'm going to spend three fortune um, to force the stunt, and I will gain seven stunt points. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yes. Um, how long does this last? Interesting. Um, okay. And so I'm going to use um, Omen basically to gain uh, an insight or an extra, basically an, an extra piece of information. Um, the, 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 the attunes information, secret energy flows, whispering spirits, prophetic visions, blah, blah, blah. Automatically unlocks one lead in a relevant investigation, even creating a lead to unlock one if one isn't present, provi or provides one piece of useful information. If that's not something that can happen, I just won't force this time, but otherwise I'm doing it. Okay, um, let's see. Something that would be useful. I can give you something story-related, actually. Yeah. Uh, after kind of concentrating, because you, you sensed two, two minds... The second mind, actually, upon further inspection, it does feel somewhat familiar. Um, you're, it's it's kind of like when you're trying to place like a name or you know like a, a memory, and, and you're, you're sitting here kind of like chewing on it, and then you have this revelation that the second mind that you're sensing is <clears throat> one of those um, one of those shell tech miners who attempted to ambush. A lock when you were going to meet with them previously. Okay, are they also groggy? They are. Interesting. Okay. Was his assistant not taken? Was someone just assumed to be his assistant? His assistant appeared on the camera and, and never returned. We assumed he was near him, but it, he's not right there. Not within 10 meters. Okay. Um, I will, 10 yards, whatever. Do they keep, wait, oh, modern age uses a different, yeah, don't worry, right. Um, same thing. I'm gonna walk back, tee, 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 tee. Okay, I say, while well, invisible. Um, and I relay the information I know. Uh, Polak is, like, right on the other side of that door, and there's a Shell Tech mining operative, but he's also in cryo. Well, he's, his mind is hazy, so I'm assuming they're in cryo. And there's not any guards within 10 meters of that door. So that door's a pretty good entry point. If we can get in. <clears throat> and was that all you spent on your... I'm making sure you got your stunt points, because you had seven, right? I did. There's nothing really else relevant that I'm going to do. Okay. Perfect, perfect. This feels like a Drugo moment. Oh yeah, I was getting into the computers. Mm -hmm. Sorry, mm -hmm. I was distracted by the Scooby Doo antics. Could I have, could I hook up the thing for Drugal? Uh... Or well, is it like it's going to be connected to her, her handle thing? Yeah, that's that's okay. it. Yep, exactly. Yeah. It's kind of like touch. Okay. Yeah. So the thought was that I would be using bypass to make the AI I think it's bypass. Hold on, I didn't open all of these and it's a lot of text. Um, remind me, does Palak have any cybernetics? He did not from many of your interactions. Okay. 
Not even like a GPS chip? Uh, he might... Yeah, he actually might have something like that. Not a GPS, but like a medical alert thing. You know? Would that count as cybernetics as something you could ping? Yeah, uh, yes. Yes, it would. Okay. Interesting. That is good to know, because pretty much anyone rich or connected would have something like that. Pretty much, cool. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Um... So I think this would be a two-parter where I would use two of my powers back-to-back, -back, provided they're both successful. Bypass, which allows me to get into the computer system, hopefully, to find an inventory and um, check the um, security cameras and then to ping um, the general area and see if there's any booby traps or other silent alarms that we might catch. Okay, dokie. So, <clears throat> if you are trying to get up and get kind of in physical contact with that camera, I would say roll me a dexterity stealth test, because it's basically kind of pivoting back and forth, and you're trying to sneak up underneath it to get into its blind spot. So, I would ask the group to kind of walk forward with me a little bit as we come into this section and, like, be as part of the group that just happens to pass underneath the blind spot. Unless we're not there yet in the moving. Uh, D hey, Dakiri, don't you have something for this <laughs> group stealth? Not something that moves with us. Oh, okay. Otherwise, I'm at 14. Okay. Uh, let me roll the oppose. Yeah, Drugal, um, you're able to... Well, I'll, I'll put it this way. Um, there's You kind of sneak along the wall, flattening yourself uh, as much as you can. And you, remember, actually, your guys' armor um, can provide a bonus to your stealth. I believe there's a plus one, because you have a minus one to your dex. Two to your dex. Yeah, minus one to your dex, plus two to stealth. So you have a plus one. Um, yeah, you're able to get directly underneath this uh, this camera uh, with no seeming reaction or response. Okay. And then okay. uh, you're able to pretty easily kind of reach up behind it and jack into the data port on the back of the camera. Okay, then I'll just go ahead and use those PowerPoints. And you do notice that uh, they're pretty clever. They These cameras are completely wired in. They're not wireless. It's to help prevent people from hacking them remotely. Yeah. Um, and then I think I have to roll quick hacks to do that other one. Yeah? Yeah, so which one are you trying to do? Um, bypass? Um, so bypass and then ping. I'm trying to do both. Okay, okay. Let well, that's a sure 20 something. with six stat points. So. That's successful. Yep, so um, let me see. Treats you as authorized. Okay, so one thing, um, just a minor thing. Um, I think normally a bypass works for one person. If you want it to work for multiple people, you spend one more piece of RAM or one more PowerPoint. So cool. uh, three RAM. You can make it, basically, it doesn't scrub you guys from the recording. It just, like any artificial intelligence that would like ping off of a face thing, it doesn't, it sees you as being allowed, so to speak. So okay. that is successful. You kind of see the light uh, kind of flicker and turn green on the front of the camera. Cool. Can I do anything with those stun points for this one? Uh, yeah, just look at the power, the power, uh, power stunts. You actually, I know that you're trying to cast another power. You can actually use, there's a stunt literally that lets you do that. Fast use. Yep. Perfect, then I will go ahead and do that. Awesome, and so. that's um, four of my seven, because I can see Cassie. Beautiful. That's a lot of, that's a lot of uh, stunts that are looking. I'm just looking at that. Um... So with a 10 meter radius, I'm just checking here really quick. Come on. 
Snap the center. And then... Yep, so... I don't think any of the others really apply to what I can do, so... Gotcha. Okay, so, Drugal, within 10 meters, uh, you, you kind of reach out, and on your computer, this kind of three-dimensional display pops up, showing uh, multiple uh, multiple electronic devices. Um, you... And I know that it tells you a little bit about it. From your vantage point, you can sense uh, at least two more cameras um, within 10 meters of you. Um, you also can sense um, at least two devices that are drawing a significantly larger amount of power. Um, you can tell that those are probably the cryo units that you, um, that you know that you can sleep in when you travel through slip space. Um, in the doors, you can actually sense what kind of feels like the low power of, of some automatic doors, and you do sense contact sensors in those. So you know that um, that would be another good target for your bypass, because if you don't, it'll set off an alarm if you open the door. Okay. And then... Okay, so instead of going through the big door across from the brig, we could do these two smaller doors to the side here. Right, and I'm going to reveal, uh, I'm going to reveal, yep, yeah, you can see that right there, perfect. Yep, those two smaller doors would lead you to the structure. Okay, and, uh, all right, then I would turn this into a little map and send it to everybody else's HUD so that they had it with the ping for the two cryo units. Yep, which is about right, and I'll put, I'll ping the map right now. Come on, click. I I'm just gonna mention y'all, uh, exclamation point, big churn to enter into the big churn giveaway. Uh, we just hit 28 churn, so when we <laughs> hit 30 churn, it, it'll mean there'll be a drawing later. So big sure to exclamation point, big churn in the giveaway. It's a huge giveaway if you're interested in age, so. And, sure. and if you've entered before, you're already on the list. Awesome. So during this entire season. That was what, plus four between me and Drigal? <laughs> I mean, we were just sitting there before, how much can we crank it? <laughs> Um. Awesome, yeah. You guys kind of have a pathway forward. Couple, couple of doors. Maybe and Drugal all. can uh, bypass them, and uh, Drake, Invisible Drake, can sneak forward. Then I will continue doing that if we're on board with it. Yeah. Uh, based on Drake's sense mind reading, this is the door he wants to go in when he's in front of. Him. Perfect. And uh, I would let everyone know that they were pretty invisible at this point to this particular camera. Right. And let's see if we can bypass this door. 15? No stun that points this time. That does it. So you, okay. you see Drew kind of reach out with her hand terminal and, uh, oh wait, I have a sound for this. And then the, uh, the light turns green and you can hear the magnetic door unlock. Um, and then as Drake moves forward and lets Drugal know that it's safe to move forward through comms, Drugal will follow so they can get the second door. Gotcha. So, Drake, do you... There you go. Sorry about that. I touched I your character. I was muted. Hello. You're fine. I don't care if you touch my character. You can touch my character all you want, honey. Oh. <laughs> Just leave, leave, my, streams. leave my virtue intact. Okay. <laughs> no chance of that. <laughs> Yeah, I move in a little bit, and, uh, <laughs> ground. Yeah, so as you kind of still, I'm not going to make you roll anything, there's no one here, um, uh, you find yourself in a pretty narrow corridor, um, yeah, it's almost exactly as shown, but you can see through the, the window in this door here, um, kind of a, a, a little bit of an opening you can see that it opens to the right and it looks like kind of like an office building a little bit or like the executive area of a warehouse um, and if you kind of crane your head over a little bit you can see another security camera um, just beyond that door okay uh, I'll just like take a couple steps back since I'm invisible and, and relay that information and then sco scooch forward and forward and you can you can kind of tell this one might be a little bit more trouble for somebody to to rush in and get to it's kind of its width is pretty uh it's it would be kind of harder to sneak up on it i'm saying this would be a higher tn because it's got less distance to travel in its movement um if i hand you a wire does it go invisible with you 
I mean, yeah, I mean, the things I hold are invisible. Because if I come up to this corner, it would be what? Uh... Is five or six meters to that camera? Right. He could also, I mean, you can also destroy a camera, too. That's an option, just to let you know. Oh, okay, um, I'll go do that. <laughs> <laughs> and can... Can, or can I, is the, are, are all the cameras hardwired individually or are they part of a system? Uh, let's see. Um, well, the they are part of a system. Um, just, I think the way that your quick hack works, I think at the ex expert level, you can do stuff through the network. Like right now, I think your quick hacks are usually touch or sight. I think you actually have sight. So if you're within... Yeah, I think you can. I think you can bypass if you just keep using bypass and three stunt points. You could do it when you get close to it. It's just like your normal hacking is harder. So yeah, you're able to bypass it from the corner. However, you guys want to want to do it. Uh, Jake will walk underneath it and slice it down. So okay. Apparently, that's, I've been greenlit with that option from the GM. <laughs> just put. I, I don't want you guys to have to overthink it. You know, if it's yeah, uh, no. you know. I mean, uh, to be said, like, eventually, if you keep knocking out a bunch of cameras, yeah. that could infer yeah. a risk. Yeah. But we did the we did the other thing. We could do this thing now. Cool. Where where What square is that? That one was right here. Okay. I will tiptoe my way. And is there another camera looking at me? No. Okay, because once I strike it, I will become uninvisible for just, like, 15 seconds. And then I'll go back to being invisible. Gotcha. So I activate my blade of light and I swing upwards. <laughs> yep. Um, I will say, let me do one thing. Like, yeah, your lightsaber swings. Blade of light. Yep, blade of light. Ho <laughs> <laughs> ho! <laughs> we're coming. Um, we're coming for everything you've ever had. You hear Drake um, a light cough come from a room just uh, just to the north of you. There's a door right here. Come on, clicky clicky. And you hear a light cough come from in there. The cough of a dead man? A cough of somebody who's distinctly alive. Not for much longer. Oh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> here I go killing again. <laughs> Sure, uh, whatever you want to do. I'm not going. I'm not just going to reflexively kill that person. Um, <laughs> and how, are these doors are they just opening like from like motion sensor? What, how do there's like a there's a little like touch pad that you just touch and they they come open. Uh, I'll whisper to the curie. There's someone on the other side of this. Excuse me, stage whisper. There's someone on the other side of this. <laughs> Someone we know, or I have no way of knowing that. Well, I technically do, but I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> I, have, I have no way of knowing that. I can, I can, I can sense minds. I have well, no way of knowing. You're that. the one who gave me the extra piece of information. Technically, it, it depends. <laughs> Fine. Uh, well, that wasn't where the that's isn't where the pink came from, right? Yeah, I'm gonna no, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna sense minds. <laughs> Boom! Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Twenty in total. Twenty. Yeah. Um. Two, two yeah, and you points. rolled a four on the stunt dice. Excellent. Yeah, because I'm also using the what you roll in the stunt dice to help attenuate. Like, yeah. that's that's the, the attenuation of, of your success. Yeah, exactly. Um. This secure. This mine feels unfamiliar to you. No one we care about. So we well, I have on. them dead to rights. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna step in front of the door. I'm gonna open it, and if it if it looks like a security guard, I'm taking him out. Alrighty. Um, oh, let me use the reveal area function. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yep. Goodbye, Fred. <laughs> Roll, roll for it. So you can see as you open the door, there's a security guard, and you can see they have dual magnums just kind of on their belt, and they're typing at a computer. Um, let me see which one. They're actually watching the security cameras. 
Uh, God, that's funny. Uh, 17 to hit. 17 to hit, and you stunted. I sure did. Uh, 17 hits, so go ahead and roll your damage. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and spend two of those stop points to increase the damage by a D... No, I'm going to do lightning attack. It's better to do it that way. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. okay. Um, uh, yeah, roll my damage. 2d6 plus 3. 11 points of damage. If they're still up, I'm going to lightning attack. I know they have to roll. <laughs> no. You, they're taken out. Do you kill them? No, I just, I just, <laughs> I just take off, like, their leg and knock them out. <laughs> It's a blade of light! It's a blade of light! What am I supposed to do? You have a pommel to it, don't you? <laughs> okay, I'll, um, nah, nah, I take, I sweep him on the leg and as it's going down, I palm strike him. There we go. Okay. These hands can kill a man, but they can't stop him. He can go get some cybernetics. <laughs> I hope his health insurance supports it. <laughs> well, the wounds are instantly cauterized, so at least he, he won't, won't bleed out. Bleed out, I he's, guess. He's okay, just sleeping. well. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep. Drake, I need it's you to like roll me. me. I need you to roll me a stealth check. Yeah. Um. <laughs> and uh, don't add that plus one from the suit. This is more for sound. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 12, because it's not for anything else. You hear a voice uh, ring out from the air, the room next to you. Hey, Frank? Yeah! <laughs> Are you no, 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 no. <laughs> I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. Um, oh, what, what is, what does what Frank look like, real quick? Uh, Frank, uh, he is, uh... Wearing kind of a kind of a light blue um, <laughs> uniform. He's got short brownish hair. Yeah, I don't care about um, that. He's human. What is he? Yeah, he's human. Oh, okay. I'm like, yeah, because <clears throat> he was just coughing. Yep. And then, uh, if I hear you can you can hear a chair like moving as if somebody's standing up. I will cast an illusion to make it look like Frank is standing in the room. And Dakiri, what are you doing? Because you're kind of standing out in this vestibule right here. Uh, I'm hugging the wall so that I'm out of line of sight. I, I gotta move though, my screen just I'm... went haywire here. Yeah, and I was gonna say, the rest of you group can be kind of positioning yourselves wherever you would be if you were like lurking in this hallway or this door. Um. So, Jakiri, I would just put it this way. If somebody's coming down this hallway, like you're, unless you do something like your shadow power or move, you're going to be clearly in line of sight. Like, somebody walking in this hallway is going to see you where you're standing right now. Okay, I'm dropping Shadow's Embrace then. Yes! Shadow's Embrace! Describe it for the group. Um, so... I didn't, well, no one, no one can see her right now. Drake's in the other room, so uh, <laughs> it, anyone that was in the room would be able to see that her eyes go black for a moment, and, and all of the sh all of the room just gets intensely dark. Uh, it's a six by six field of shadow. Um, she'll center it on the the hallway. Yes, uh, and gives everyone on her team a plus two to stealth. I'm gonna put a little. Uh, I'm going to make it orange just so... Or actually, I'll make it purple, because that's the color of your energy. And it's six by six. Meters or f squares? Meters, right? Yards. Yards or... Okay. Yeah, so it's three three by three squares, right? Yeah. Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then I will move it to get it on top. Right. And that's not the radius, right? That's the that's the overall diameter. It just says total six by six. Okay, perfect. Beautiful. So you kind of uh, envelop yourself in shadow, and go ahead and roll your 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 use the source check. 
I did. I got a 15. Oh, right. I do have to do oh, that. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, I, I have to do it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not used to someone else Automatic. being a source user. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh. <laughs> super, almost a super stun. I, what did I, you I, I, hit, I hit it twice on accident, so it's actually the first one, but it still clears. Oh, okay. Okay. That would have been hot, though. What is it? Man. Total instinct or whatever? Like, pure instinct? Uh, to yes. Kill? So, uh, exactly. And then I see Drake, you rolled yours. You stunted, Drake. <laughs> okay, just to clarify, these are like actual well-trained, armed, like deadly guards who tried to shoot us. Okay? Co correct. This is not yeah, Paul these. Are... <laughs> yeah, yeah. You are... This isn't like rent a cop. You just caught one. A fucking mall cop, and I'm just like both legs. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was like about to go home to his family. <laughs> Mikey's taking the piss out of me. <laughs> So I couldn't see the okay. screen before. Chase, could you just move the purple so it's in the room? Like she's, she doesn't have to be centered on it. She can actually place it wherever she wants within the third. Oh, room. nice. So where do you want it? Like this? Right there. Yep. Awesome. All right. And so from this door, just w without a second to waste, uh, Dikiri, you see uh, a half Serakin, uh, half Serakin male come out, um, and they're holding a, a long-barreled battle rifle. So you know that these are. Uh, these fire in three round bursts and are effective for medium to long range. Um, and you can see Frank kind of comes over here, not Frank, he comes over to the door frame and stops there uh, and kind of looks into this illusion uh, that Drake has just cast. Drake, did you do anything with your four stunt points? I needed to, yeah. I'm going to increase the, the force of this thing by a couple. Got it. And so this so is where they would. Perception yeah. seeing versus TN, I think 16 or 17. Let me double check. Oh, uh, TN 19. <laughs> <laughs> because I pump all the buzz, all three of the stunt points into it. Gotcha. He, Frank does not notice, but this other guy, it's not Frank, sorry. Um, Jackson does not notice the broken security camera at the end of the hall because it's dark. And then he kind of walks over and says, Hey, does the light bulb go out or something? <clears throat> and what, what's happening is I have the, like, they're in, like, their whatever pose they were, and the, the illusion is turning on and just mouthing as I talk because it can't, the illusion itself can't create noise. Right, right. <laughs> I can't do that yet. Uh,. Yeah, why don't you put in a maintenance request or something? I don't know. <clears throat> and he says, uh, it's always fucking something. And he kind of chins, chins to the monitors behind you. Anything going on? <sighs> t uh, the illusion turns around, turns back around. Not a damn thing. I wish there, I wish there was. And then like, like shows the magnums, like, yeah, man. I'm like, man, I got guns. I'm, like, I'm assuming that's what men do. I don't know, really. Anyway. <laughs> yes, deception, which I actually can do, because your Drake X is actually good at this, so we certainly won't roll low now that I said that. Correct. You certainly won't be forced to spend all your fortune. <laughs> yeah. Eh, 16. 16? Those. Yeah. Says, all right, well, I'm gonna go uh, go do a round. Yeah. You know they. Uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, uh, corporate says that one of the couriers is supposed to be here in I don't know in the next hour or so. Those things freak me the fuck out. What did he say? The couriers? A courier is supposed to be here in the next hour or so. Those things freak me the fuck out. <clears throat> uh, uh, I'll say, oh man, those yeah, those things give me the heebie-jeebies. You ever see, you ever see what they can do? Uh, you know, only the aftermath, or what was left. Terrible. Uh, do I have the sense that this guy's dropped his guard? I mean, yeah, he's he he said like he's got the the battle rifle here, but he's just kind of standing. <laughs> Drake comes rushing out of the illusion and palpatines this guy. <laughs> All right, <laughs> roll your. <laughs> You're a horrible person. <laughs> so glad I got rid of all those dark side points. Listen, I'm not gonna kill him. 
<laughs> I'm not going to kill him as you just run him through with the lightsaber. <laughs> I'm just going to get a sp I'm just going to get a spleen. <laughs> 18, what the <laughs> fuck? Leave. Th those of you who still have your lives may go, but leave your limbs. <laughs> those <laughs> to me. Yeah, 18 to hit with the five stuff points. Would you say this cost them an arm and a leg? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think so. Oh, no. It's just... Oh. Just <laughs> 15 damage. <laughs> oh, my God. Describe what you do to this poor man. <laughs> Is he sitting here talking to his friend Frank? <laughs> I take his gun arm off, whatever one, whichever one he's favoring for the trigger, and I spin around and I knock him out with the pommel. <laughs> and you can just kind of like smell like the the um, you're like blade cackling. You can kind of smell the burning meat <laughs> as Dakiri the arm flops right next to where you're like crouching in the shadows. It's terrifying to think that ghosts used to work in teams. <laughs> There used to be more than one of us. Anyway. Hey, meanwhile, Dakiri's outside like, why is it I have the bad reputation? <laughs> you, Cassie's you to... like, uh, really, I don't have an answer for you. Misogyny? I don't know. <laughs> I think... I think Droogle's gonna make a mental note for these two guys and make sure that like their workers comp is up so they're taken <laughs> care of. <laughs> oh my god, please. <laughs> like Wait. there's a there's a notes for collateral and that's just there's a list of people that Droogle needs to go in and like make sure the system takes care of. <laughs> I'm assuming these guys are like Blackwater, okay? All right. Um, did you do anything with your five stunt points, Matthew? Uh can I use infiltration stuff? Sure! You're infiltrating right now! That's what I thought. Um. Um. Turn the waters? And if you say no. calm the waters, I'm gonna nope. kill you in your sleep. No, we don't do that here. Yeah! Uh, Depriving the people at home. I'm gonna do it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> so they're gonna get a minus two to try to track it. I'm gonna okay. shift the blame on someone else. I don't care if it's Dakiri. No, I do care if it's Dakiri. They, they might think it's actual ghosts from the Unified Authority. I mean, this is literally what we would do. Drake shifted you guys... the blame on to Dakiri. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'll shift the blame on to, like, not, I don't know if I necessarily get to choose, but the, the idea basically being, yeah, they think it's like a legit ghost operation. Right. They're like, oh, damn, like an actual, at well, for one, we passed our attache check, so like a literal attache Correct. Touchdown, and then the fucking Unified Authority ghosts show up? Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Might cause an international uh, inter international incident. Give a fuck. Okay. They started it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would say, yeah, so the, the hallway is quiet. Um, you can kind of see down now, uh, there's a series of double doors here. I would say, Dakiri, you caught a glimpse into this door here when... Um, uh, Jackson walked out, and you could see that's kind of like a, a kind of a miniature. I'm not gonna say an armory, but there were some guns and whatnot. Um, and you can see a series of doors beyond here. Actually, I'll extend the revealed area just slightly. You can see through the the viewing window on this door um, some shelves. So you're kind of looking down a hallway out into the open uh, warehouse area. And uh, I would say as you and Drake are standing there. You do see a little bit of light and some hints of movement, but, um, wait, you have an infrared eye, so you can actually see through darkness fine. Um, if you glance out the door, you actually see what appears to be like a worker drone or a worker robot kind of rolling by the door, holding a package. And then, <laughs> could you ping real fast where the, um, um where Palak is. Yeah, so right... Oh, I, sorry. It, it, I Even if it's again. in the darkness. The darkness. Okay, is there like a door there? Or is this like a wall hallway? There, wall? There's, there's a wall right in front of you. Okay. And so the door to get to that room is down this hallway on the other side of this darkness. Pretty much. Pretty much. I, we're, we're giggly tonight. 
I'm sorry, I just read in chat, Emma said, here's your maintenance request. <laughs> what? Doing the, the Palpatine 360, like, corkscrew through the air? Cold Sense is a very serious game about transhumanism and the effect of large government on the people. Um, yes, to answer your question, Drugal, you're staring at a blank wall, so you assume the way to get into that room is, is probably further into the facility. Which kind of stands to reason, too, if they're keeping, like, people. Like, this seems to have a front of being, like, an actual legitimate warehouse. Uh... Do we want to cut through the wall and take Palak, or do we want to actually go through a door? I kind of want more... to get Drake a stun baton, but, um... <laughs> it's on the to-do have... list. <laughs> we have a drone coming in with a package. Could be the courier that he mentioned. Do we know what couriers look like? You... No, I would say you have no idea. Yeah, you have no we idea. have any idea what that lingo is? <sighs> I mean, you know what a courier actually is, but within... Right, but... I would say, no, you would have no reason to know what, uh, within, uh, Novagen, what a courier is. Okay. The courier sounded like, like, a high-level level operative who, like, is sent in to really do shit. Like, secure packages, so to speak. Right, right. It's, it could be a, a very, very powerful drone, but it's likely, like, a... And it could be both, but, yeah, it's like a... A classification for someone securing high, high, high level um, deliveries. Okay, well, whatever where it is, is this it appears to be coming currently. this way. Oh. Is it coming down this hallway? Uh, no, so just to be clear, what you saw, Dakiri, that looked like a normal, oh. like a warehouse drone. Okay. It smooth, uh, shuttling I thought, it was, a package. I, thought it was, I thought it was coming down our hallway. Oh, no, sorry. It, 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 like, here, I'll just put it there. Like, you saw it kind of drive by, and it's like doing stuff in the warehouse. This is like a mouse droid that you just got. This is like the chain all over again, Chase. <laughs> <laughs> That's the courier! You pull up! You pull up and you don't want to pull the courier? <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like a normal, like you can see it's painted in orange and it's got like little, um, it's got like sh lifting clamps and you can see it, like it goes up, picks up a, like another package, puts it on the thing. So you can see it moving around. Um, I would say after observing, like, so you guys have been sitting in this hallway for a few seconds kind of figuring out your move. You actually see a person walk by the door and then walk past the plane of the door. Did it show them when I had them pause there? I'll put them here so they can pause so you can see. And then they continue walking on. Okay, so I guess. If we're not going through this wall, Drugal will move through the darkness into that next hallway and open this next door. Um, so the door here. Beautiful. That supposedly will go into the room that's got the people. Uh, right, do you want um, me to make another quick hacks to bypass this door? You find this, this one's actually unlocked as you get in here. Um, and you can see what appears to be just a small office area. Is there another door? Like, Not on the other side of this office area? Nope. Okay, then I could move down the hallway and go to the next door on this side, trying to get into this area. Otherwise, we're cutting through walls. I'm done. Yep, so you open this one, and it seems to be, like, kind of a storage room with, like, office supplies and whatnot. All right, guys. So we can either go all the way around into this warehouse, or we can just quietly go through this office. Go the office. Cassie, with her Zatniktel out, <laughs> is following along here. And she says, um, uh, and I, I, Alexis, would like to, like, maybe have a, maybe a tactics role see where which which avenue is probably um better and will hopefully lead quicker and with fewer obstacles to block 
Yeah, roll me an intelligence tactics roll. Because <clears throat> it would make sense with the blade of light to be able to get through the wall, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, there are materials that can be resistant, but yeah. A 17. Yeah, I mean, if you, right now, you guys have the element of surprise. Um, you know, you can see that there's an active guard presence moving around here, so it might only be a matter of time before uh, the two missing guards' presences are noticed, or missing presence are noticed. Um, going in through a wall like that is actually a very uh, subterfuge kind of move to do. I'm going in through the wall, cutting that thing open like a can of tuna. <clears throat> um, ready. Drugal would move back to the room with the security cameras to see what's in that room on the <laughs> other side of those offices. Smart. Cassie will cover Drake with her Zat Nick tell out. Okay. And so quietly is... suggest people get out of the hallway that other workers can see. <laughs> So I'm positioning you guys where I think that you would be. Uh, Dakiri and Tack, where would you be? Forward, so wherever Drake's at. All right. Yeah, so and then probably the first office because it's a bigger office with more wall. Oh, okay. You so you're suggesting this one instead? Yeah, I'm suggesting the bigger office because that was closer to where Palak was. Because. Okay. Or was he legitimately just on the other side of the wall in the hallway? He felt like he, I mean, you knew you had a 10 meter range and you were kind of sensing him at the edge. So he would have been really close to right here. Okay. So in that corner. Yeah. So I would, I would ping people to that corner so that we could just kind of pull the lock off the shelf, so to speak. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. through the hole. Perfect. Along with the Reltech Nor guy or not, not Reltech Nor, Shell Tech Mining guy. Got it. All right. I'm not. There's not. Uh, there's not going to be um, any rolling to cut through. Uh, cut through a wall. Um, this oh, actually, ironing this actually really does look like a ghost operation at this point. Yeah. And then, do we see anything on the camera before they cut into the wall and surprise a guard? <laughs> yeah. Let me. Uh, you know. Uh, now that you can actually see the camera, um, because we have this beautiful map from uh, Miska's maps. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'll let you. I'll, I'll reveal some areas for what you see, uh, Jakiri. I or not Jakiri Drugal. Sorry, I accidentally closed out of the tab for all twenty, so I'm waiting for it to to load back up. Um, Drake reveal... going from calm to unhinged in like sixty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> calm in sixty seconds is it's the name of the movie. Um, so really quickly, I'm going to reveal the areas that the camera sees. Okay. I'm really, I'm really relishing in this. Um, so, Drugal, you can see um, out onto the warehouse floor. I'm going to reveal more. I think you guys can see everything pretty much. And then if any cameras have picked us up, just kind of like leave the UA people who um, are in UA armor, but no, um, how would we do this? Uh, Drugal would. A anybody in straight UA armor like Drugal themselves without any characteristics that would be recognized, mm -hmm. leave them on any cameras they were caught on, but nobody else. So if Tack is viewable and mm. not 100% covered uh, Drugal would scrub tack but and like the blade of light from Drake okay okay but not anybody in just 100% UA armor with standard guns got it so if that makes sense um, so make it look pin it on the ghosts like make it look like the unified authority did something they absolutely should not have perfect Got it. Sorry, that took me just a second to reveal those areas. So it, it basically reveals the entire map to you. Um, 
you can see that this kind of busy warehouse and i see rob you're kind of scrolling around the map a little bit um yeah so you can see basically on the on the com on the cameras droogal um a busy warehouse with worker droids kind of moving around shuttling packages to and fro um you can see at least two more security forces um in this room one of them is carrying what appears to be a shotgun and one's carrying carrying what appears to be a assault rifle um and they're just kind of moving around the floor monitoring um yeah, and then um... so there's no cameras in the room we're trying to get into. Uh, after some poking around, I'm just checking. You actually do find like in kind of a hidden hidden folder. There's a link to one more camera, and I'm going to reveal okay. it for you now. I think it, it'll be a little bit to your to your south if it worked correctly. Can you guys see that hidden room? Uh, no. Oh, dang it. There we go. Oop. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five canisters. Uh, <laughs> do we care who's out, who's in the other canisters? I mean, Drugo would be the one most likely to care. I mean, because if the other three are baddies, yeah, I mean, the will have some justice. Yeah, the other three could be here, like willingly, just being transported, you know, across systems for the company. It could also be empty. Drake only sensed two individuals. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna have to sense anyway to see, so I could let you know. You could try and look who it is in the meantime, Drugal. Drugal would do that. Um. But let everyone know that that room appears to be empty otherwise. Um, but there are five canisters, so we'll have to figure out which two we need. Gotcha. <clears throat> I, I will sense mines yet again to get okay, a sense three. of which two have the things. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Don't do it, Rob. Don't roll that beautiful oh, bean footage. Oh, no. I definitely missed yes. it. What <laughs> am I roll when we If we get start a combat, it's going to be all one. Just like threes. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, yeah, so I sense mines. That's the thing that happens. I don't think I'm going to... Well, well, tell me what I have, then I might spend my stuff playing. Um, and can you read the, the wording on... Uh, actually, let me look at sense mines directly, or... Can you read it to me really quick? Yeah, yeah, within 10 yards, and uh, the information becomes more obscure the more people I sense. Okay, so you can sense presence of other mines within 10 yards at a ra uh, the 10-yard radius of any point you can see, so I can actually kind of throw it a little bit. Um, you sense the presence of other mines, their approximate number, their general type, animal person, and so forth, and their approximate location. Um, the larger number of the mines, the more general the information tends to be. Got it. <clears throat> so this time, you sense... You sense... Uh, yeah, you sense five mines now okay um it's more general you can't like it's kind of a cacophony but they all just seem to be this kind of like this lethargic like dream state sequence okay i will spend four stunt points oh, of my it, oh sorry go ahead. i i lied you sense let me check one thing let me check one thing someone got more than two brains <laughs> you sense a sixth one that is more alert and active um Zip. and they are Ten yards the away. The name. What? There's a room that you guys haven't explored. Oh yeah, the, well, the guy with the HF knife. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, the, the secret guy true. there that you guys can't see. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Something and HF knife. Yep, there it is. Um, I will spend four stunt points of my six stunt points, um, because plus one from Cassie, um, to do Omen again, so I can make sure of the two that we want. Awesome. So, which one's Pollock and which one's the... I don't know. Go ahead. So, um, have you cut the hole in the thing yet? Did yeah. Did you cut it yet? Yeah, okay. you said there was no roll for it, right? So Exactly. I was just making sure the order of operation. So, okay, so you're kind of looking into this space now, too. So you cut this hole through the door um, and the falls way. Um, you kind of can sense Pollock is in this one. You can sense that uh, shell tech mining person is in this one, and you um, 
Yeah, th that's. Were you asking more than that, or just the, which ones do you? Which ones were from? Yeah, which ones were familiar? Yeah, um, and then I would say, yeah, those are familiar. Yes, exactly. Yep, you can send Palak in this one, Shell Tech Mining Guy in this one. Cool. I'll make uh, sure the hole is big enough to scoot him through. And did we find a uh, manifesto at all with the bill of lading for these five? You actually find a communist manifesto in there? Yeah, <laughs> of course. I carry one on me all the time. So that's no just surprise. Just leaving it, the instruction. And I just want to pay respect to the fact that we just hit 30 churn just here now. Um, <clears throat> with my role, of course. Drugal, on... On the cameras, you can actually see. Let me do one thing. Uh, you see a form. Like a one sheet second. of paper or like a form of a person? A uh, form of a person. I don't okay. know why their name is not showing up now. Oh, token layer. There they are. <clears throat> you see uh, what appears to be an athletic built. A uh, man wearing sunglasses and a nice-looking suit, um, completely out of place in this industrial area of the building, and he's walking kind of stiffly um, down this down this hallway, and he's approaching where you guys are with a th on the thirty churn. Um, if he the doors that I touch. Um, I will go ahead and lock those and give them error codes to anyone but me to give us a hot second. All right, roll me an intelligence security test. And then I will also start looking for a door. Uh, like a vehicle that will that we can take out the airlock. All right, let's roll the, yeah, we'll roll the test first and then we'll go. Uh, security... 15. 15. Uh, 15 does it. So you are able to basically lock those two doors and make them throw erroneous error codes. <clears throat> and then you were saying that you were looking for a vehicle to try to take out through that airlock? Yes. All right. Uh, kind of looking around the space, you can see that um, there are no... All right. So uh, vehicles, you see what appears to be a large power loader up here. So it's like a, a 10 foot tall um, kind of hydraulically electro servo powered thing that could be used to lift very large and heavy things. Um, yeah, that's the only vehicle that you see right around now. And you can also see um, some like anti-gravity tugs in the warehouse for moving around heavy, heavy stuff. Um, Drake, you're able to, I would say, like, there's already kind of like an anti-gravity lifter underneath this thing. So that's how you're able to kind of, like, power it up and start sliding it. Um, but then, yeah, Drugal, I guess, would let you guys know that you guys have company. Sure would. Um, and then I would... Because we left Cap App on the ship, didn't we? Oh, thank goodness. Maybe he can come around to this airlock. What do you think, guys? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, let's do it. Because we're all in suits, so we got a couple of minutes of yeah. air. We could just jettison ourselves out of the airlock. Yeah. You're probably going to have to like hack it to get it to open, but yeah, fucking do it. Let's do it. Okay, then um, <clears throat> wherever the series of events takes us, Drugal now wants to um, set off some kind of alarm to evacuate this area to save the other baddies. And... Um, get cat bap around to this airlock um so that we have less people to fight and a way out okay so um you basically pull the like an alarm code so you're basically trying to activate an alarm that basically, would cause people to evacuate pull the fire alarm and then get the airlock open okay so, to put out the fire right all right yep because space. exactly uh well the airlock wouldn't <laughs> The airlock wouldn't open, but you could try to force it open. Like, it, they've got a lot of safety protocols in place so that that doesn't happen. Um, but you could try to force it open. You would you know that you would have to probably get there. Like, you'd have to interface with the sensors on it. Um, but you can activate an alarm. So, uh, 
I want you guys to, to pay attention to the screen because I, I love doing this. So, Drugal, you basically go into the security system and, and hit this alarm, and then you hear the, the loud. Um, marking some kind of hazardous uh, chemical spill. I don't know. Is that loud enough for you guys? Can you even hear it? Mm -hmm. All right. It's a little quiet on my end. And then uh, nice. as you do that, all of the lights um, come on in the facility as uh, basically you've gone into a, uh, a secure safe status. Um, you can hear automated voice, please vacate the facility for some status now. Um, yeah, the courier seems to be uh, unaffected by it and he has now arrived at this closed door, um, shakes it and kind of finds it to be locked, um, cocks his head and looks around. To try something and i i don't know if this is possible but i'm gonna try something with this this one that i have hold of i'm gonna try to bring this with me as i uh source speed um do you think that's possible the the thing weighs several hundred pounds um actually you probably i would put it this way on a straightaway like kind of pushing like a shopping cart you probably could um running through like these narrow hallways and stuff like you're gonna be kind of like forcing it like a christmas tree up a flight of stairs okay, okay um i would say maybe you could even move at like a half or quarter speed if you were trying to do that but your increased speed would help you with that yeah yeah no yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's exactly uh, even if it's a quarter speed that's what i'm gonna go for okay Someone's, but we're gonna have to deal with this carrier he's not gonna be he's gonna come onto a fucking ship <laughs> if we try to get onto our ship couldn't we yeah. take Palak out of the container? Oh, oh yeah. Are you guys calling Pal? Uh, are you guys call? <laughs> Sorry. Um, did you guys call Cat Bap really quick? Sorry. Did you guys call Cat Bap? Yeah. Okay. Cat Bap. Uh... All right. Yeah, I'm on my way. Hey, you should see this ship that just got here. It's pretty sweet. Is it pyramid shaped? No, it's uh like long and black. It looks really slick. Mm, don't engage with that. Please avoid it. All right. Well, I'll be I'll be on my way out there. Send me a Ke sign. Kepep, how big is that ship? Uh, it's a little bit bigger than ours. What do you guess the crew complement is? I mean, it's really hard to tell. Uh, could be like I don't know, ten, five, ten. I don't know. Okay. Could be one, for all you know. Like, you know. I just saw one person get out of it. You know, they look pretty uh, snazzy. Yeah, yeah. Be prepared. We'll probably be coming in hot. All right, I'm on my way! All right, so, Drake, you've uh, activated your source speed? I Are you guess. going to? Well, uh, that's. I'm like, do we try to get him out right now or in the numbers first? What do you all think? Real quick. We should thin the numbers from a tactical standpoint, or at least create yeah, an exit path and then move him. Okay. Because we can I would take say, all five, we should. I mean, we're at a station it? full of these potential guards, right? Yeah. As the alarm is going off. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. No, go ahead. You 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 go. No, ahead. Just say, these are the only these are only the ones in the immediate vicinity. Probably want to move for speed. Okay, I'm gonna grab the one that has Pollock on it, and I'm gonna try to source speed my way through this. I am gonna be pushing myself for the best version of this, I think. Uh, <laughs> let me check here. Oh my god, sorry. Two, two documents named it. Excuse me, and Matthew... Empower, Empower Dash. Yeah, go ahead. Gotcha. Yep, and as you're doing that, because this is all kind of happening simultaneously, Matthew, yeah. um, I would say that you can see Drugal on the cameras, at least when the security workers have started to go like to the large loading area. Um, and you can see another one is moving towards the hallway where you guys are at. Also, uh, Cassie, you can hear what it sounds like a toilet flush from just down the hallway uh, where that one room was. And you can hear somebody kind of like cursing in that small room. Um, you think you're gonna have company here in just a few seconds. Quick question. Do we think that the worker droids have any sort of offensive capabilities? 
They look pretty strong. Some of the boxes that they're lifting are pretty big. Also, I just want to bring everyone's attention. I'm pinging this thing. Yep. Just, uh, yeah. If anyone wants to <laughs> try their hands on steering that thing, I don't know if that's going to be active, but uh, try to get there. <laughs> oh, my uh. God. Um, all right, Drake, I would say, uh, you know what? I would say let's go ahead and roll for initiative, if okay. that makes sense, because we're kind of getting into action time and you're going to be activating powers and whatnot. So don't forget to select your pogs and roll for initiative. Oh, God. Perfect. Stunting on initiative. Great. Super stunt to us. Yeah. Oh, we took, we thinned out two of them, and we pretty much, we're pretty close to getting, well, you know, it's pretty good. The poor people in the bathroom. What is it with you, Chase, and having people attacked coming in or out of bathrooms? Not I mean, nice. It's it's a it's a real part of life. Everyone does it. Um, it is unfair, is what it is. The trauma he's working through it comes from the time I attacked him when he was on the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you 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 never get over you never get over the first time it happens. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was back I when we used to keep each other on our on our toes when we did martial arts, so we would surprise <laughs> attack each other. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Twenty five. I mean, he years wasn't even trauma <laughs> between you two. My goodness. He wasn't even he wasn't even living with me. He broke into our house in the middle of the night. <laughs> middle of the night. Te yeah. Knife in my walls. teeth. Yeah, give me awesome. Let's be real. I would say um, okay, this is actually going to work out perfectly now that we've gone to initiative order. The security guard at the top of the initiative with the, an 18, the security guard with the assault rifle uh, steps into the hallway um, where you guys are at. Um, you know that he is uh, going to be walking down towards where Tack and Drugal are in mere seconds. And I think with that, we are going to go for a break. Okay, I have a question. It can, it can yeah. Wait. Okay. Remember it though, because it's 7.30 now. I think now it's a good time right before we start combat, right? Yep. Hypothetically, would Cassie have him dead to rights? Uh, if you used your power that lets you attack at the top of before initiative even happens, um, yeah, I would say that you would have him dead to rights because he doesn't know you're there. So I could knock them out with my zap naked tail. Great. Okay, that's all I needed to know. Okay. Uh, well, that power only works on rifles. It's rifles talent that lets you shoot before initiative. So you could use your SMG. You couldn't use your zap. Let's talk about it at a break. Okay. All right. We're going to take a quick break, guys. We'll be back in about 10 minutes. Uh, don't forget, we just hit 30 churn. Um, so please enter the big churn giveaway. Type exclamation point big churn uh, in the chat, and you will win a ship full, a shitload, <laughs> a shipload of, uh, of PDFs <laughs> from, the, from Green Ronin Expanse RPG. We'll be right back. Stick around. We are back. Thanks for sticking with us, folks. All right, we're going to get, be getting right into the action here. The freelancers have uh, using stealth and uh, their technology access have infiltrated, uh, using some really good tactics too, uh, this warehouse. They have secured where their missing, uh, their missing uh, employer is, um, but they are seeing a, a kind of an, uh, an enigmatic and scary sounding courier coming towards them and they are just uh they think that the shit is about to hit the fan so we are going to get right into it um on initiative count 18 uh with this alarm kind of blaring in the background alerting people to leave the facility um a human with an assault rifle kind of comes uh i would say barreling into this hallway um they don't look down 
either of the closed doors. Um, yeah, they wouldn't go down. They wouldn't look in either of the closed doors. And I'm assuming, do you guys have the door closed behind where you cast CR, or would you have the door open? Uh, I, in my head, I think we had it closed, but not completely shut, not, like not latched. Okay. So he kind of walks past that door, not really uh, seeing it or paying attention. And then he gets into this part of the hallway here. So you can see that he's kind of beelining it um, for the exit as this alarm is going off. And he comes around the corner face to face with Tack, uh, <laughs> that uh, seven foot tall armored uh, soul like Golo. Um, and you can see at first he's a little bit stunned. And then he takes a step back and levels his assault rifle at you um, and says, uh, Who the fuck the are you? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, it's dark too. So it's like really, it's like dark light. So he, yeah, he. Can, but he's. Oh, he's got the flashlight. That's why. Uh, but I. Don't, I think it's still. No, I don't think lights work in it. I think that it's like it's almost like magical darkness. I mean, um, look at this meat cute where someone's head runs straight and attacks chest and just, you know. And I you know what he. He actually, after a moment's hesitation, he levels his assault rifle at you and takes uh, takes a shot. He's not. He's not fucking around. So let me pull up his character sheet, like you do. And he is going to make a shot at you with his assault rim. Nope. Nope. So... <laughs> Cac just brings up the shield and then sends out a very low vibration that vibrates the entire area. <laughs> oh my gosh, so you can hear the, uh, the kind of muffled as the bullets are just kind of clattering off of your shield. Um, he does actually have to roll again because he missed to see if he uh, has to reload. And I'm just rolling the attack again, even though he's not attacking. Um, that is not a forced reload. So he basically empties part of the magazine at you. Um, and he says, shit, we've got company. Out loud. Dikiri, you're up. All right. Um... I heard someone else give me an idea and I'm rolling with it. So one, two, three, four. So at this door, would this door automatically open for me? To the north of- uh, You just have to touch the thing, but yeah, you can do that as part of like an object interaction. So you just- Okay, can... I do that. And I would end up my turn right there. Gotcha. Um, yeah, you, you find yourself what appears to be like the foreman's office of this warehouse. Um, yeah, exactly. All right, and is that your whole turn? That is my turn. All right, Drugal, you are up with the 16. All right, so how far away on the other side of this base is Cat Bap? Oh, Cat Bap is like a kilometer away. Like you're in like a massive space station. So he's got to yeah. exit the space station and then kind of make his way around. So it'll be a few rounds. I mean, honestly, it'll be several rounds before he's there. Okay. And what um, is Catbap going to have any uh, uh, checkpoints or anything that he's going to have to get through to get to us? Um, normally, yes. But if he's bringing it in hot, you know, like he's already kind of. So he's already kind of gotten admittance to be like in the airspace, so to speak. Yeah. Um, so if he went and just kind of like docked with an airlock, he would like security would show up and and something would happen. Eventually, um, okay. Yeah, exactly. So, so, and the station is not without its own defenses too. Like if the station considers the ship a threat, it'll fire on the ship. Um, but yeah. Okay. Then. I oof. Okay, Drugal would drag the second body from the darkness that Drugal knows is there into the office that they're in. So when the airlock is pushed, they or do the doors do we think would keep these bodies safe? Um could you uh, sorry, I was reading chat. Could you repeat your question? So the the two bodies that we've already down that are alive but dismembered. Mm -hmm. Are they safe where they're at if and when we open the airlock? 
Uh, yeah. So, um, and let me put it. Uh, let me just very be very explicit about how the airlock is set up. So this is the outer door in the airlock. So if you guys are doing it in the normal way um, and not trying to cause like a, a vacuum decompression, um, you would just cycle the airlock and it would be fine. Um, Okay. You know, if you are trying to do something fancy, like make it so that it starts sucking air out of this part of the the facility, um, they're not going to get sucked out into space, so to speak. Um, I guess it just kind of depends on how quickly the secure the system is able to kind of reestablish that airlock. You know, like they're not going to asphyxiate even within a minute, if that makes sense, because there's plenty of air in there. Um, gotcha. Okay. So as long as we're quick and whatever we're doing, we're fine. Yeah, you're not going to be um, manslaughter like the moment you hit that button. Okay, and then last question: Where was the nearest uh, grav carrier thing to move these bad boys? Um, you can tell that some of them, uh, the one that Drake has already has one underneath it. Um, you can move them one at a time, kind of with them at your own speed. Uh, you can also like grab that mecha loader over there. There is one back down here. You can move two at a time with this guy. Um, and then there's there's one right here too. So there's a few different ways to move them. Okay. So I'd say you can move them at your own speed as they are now. If you want to move them, like Drake is using a force power, but if you want to move them faster, or you can use these different mechanisms. Okay. So what okay. what you doing, Drugal? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for that um, the the twofer here at the end of the hallway. Okie dokie. Um, so my movement is one, two, three, four, five, six. I would stay there so I'm out of people's way for the most part. And I think that would be my turn. Okie dokie. It's just so moving kinda... with... I can double move though if I run with my major action though, right? You can. Perfect. Thank you. Got it. So Drugal kind of sussing out the situation, kind of getting an idea of they're about to murder a bunch of people if they open this airlock, um, and then settles on, we need to move bodies and move them quickly. Starts moving towards the, moving towards the the loader. All right. At initiative count fifteen, um, you heard a toilet flush. The door right behind you, Drugal, opens, um, and you can see uh, a guard kind of walking out. Um, they have been alerted to the presence uh, of hostiles because of the um, because of the gunshots that they heard, um, and so you can see that this person didn't already have their pistol out, so they use their minor action to draw their pistol, um, and then they're going to try to fire at the first thing that they see, and that's you, Drupal. Okay. Because I'm on the other side of that door now, so I don't know what kind of door that is. Uh, it's just a. Uh, it's like a normal door you would see in a building. Gotcha. If that makes okay. sense. It's not like armored or reinforced. Sure, go for it. Alrighty. Um, That's gonna not... miss for once. Got it. Yeah. Nice. So uh, you can tell this uh, this guard is a little startled, um, and you can hear the uh, the loud. Um, shot of this magnum uh, echoing through the hallway and you can see a large hole appears in the door above your head um, but they miss with their shot um, and that is their turn Tack you're up with a 14 and Drake you're on deck with a 13 alright Tack will move forward and basically um, pin the guy in front of him kind of push him back into the wall and then take a swing with, his, uh, with their hammer at him Wow. Okay. All of the rolls are terrible now. <laughs> you guys wasted them all. Does it does a twelve hit? <laughs> uh a twelve does not hit. Alright. Uh that will be his turn then. Or their turn. Okay. Not spending any fortune, huh? Mm -mm. Alrighty. Um Drake. You're up next, and the courier is on deck. Drake is just gonna take like a deep, 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 deep breath, and then he's gonna try to empower the 
gosh. Of course, yeah. Um, <laughs> called it, didn't we? Um, yeah, let's do it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spend a six fortune. Oh, that's Alrighty. a plus. Hold on, that's a plus one. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Spend six fortune. Oh, hold on, hold on. Math. Four, four, and um, two is fourteen, fifteen. Four is sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna spend a uh, six fortune. It won't force a stunt, but it will get me to a seventeen with Cassie there. Um, and I will now move ten times my speed as a miner. Action. <laughs> Got it. And you're dragging the thing behind you, you said? Yes, and that will cost me 10 power points. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, so it's 110... 110 meters I can move. But what I want to do is I'm going to bring it about like here in the middle. Okay. And, and then I'm going to let go of it and I'm going to jump into this loader. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put a thing there to represent what you dragged out. It's not the exact uh, it's not the exact thing that you're dragging. You know, I'll but... put it here if I if it, you know I'll put, I'll put it like here. Yeah. Okay, let me let me grab a thing. I actually didn't grab a. Hold on, I know what to do. One second. Perfect. So this thing. All right, and you dragged it right there? Yeah. All right, so Drake comes just roaring out of this hallway, um, dragging this uh, this uh, this gravity-enforced cryo unit. Um, it slams against the walls, and Drugal, as you kind of step out into this opening to grab that, uh, that power lifter, that, that anti-grav lifter, Drake comes exploding through the door and the glass shatters as he's dragging this massive, basically coffin-sized uh, cryo unit behind him. Um, Drake, you, with incredible speed, uh, reach over to the, where the power lifter is. Yeah, um, one, and then, one second. Yeah. As I move, though, I lock eyes with the carry in a very fast way, and I redirect from the power loader <laughs> onto the guy with the shotgun. I'm going to let the okay, carry okay. the power loader. But I am okay, going to okay. leave that there. Beautiful. I don't see your character up there. Oh, you're still down. I, I haven't moved him, yeah. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So I'll just uh, engage this guy. Awesome. I'm just trying to picture the sound you were making as you were pushing this thing. <laughs> 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 like, the papers, like, go flying. It's just, it's just go, go, uh, going crazy. Now, that was um, my minor. Do I still have an action? Yeah, I mean, if you have a if you have a okay. major, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut this guy to pieces. Well, I'm gonna knock him out passively, you know. Um, okay, yep. cool. And I see just because I know that we haven't done combat in a while, Dakiri. I see that you were talking that maybe you were to try to run and and ran more. That's all right. I I, I might have. I thought I I needed an action to open a door. So. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I think good. you would have. Yep. Okay. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Uh, 17 to hit. <laughs> Just a 17. I um, want a stunt! A <laughs> 17 hits. Cool. 12 points of ignore four armor to the guy with the shotgun in front of me. Okie dokie. Um... All right, you can see that uh, he's kind of aware of you. He's got a shotgun, and he kind of steps to the side, and your, your armored blade kind of... Uh, careens off of his shoulder plate, um, slicing a chunk of it off. Cool. That's my turn, folks. <laughs> that, was quite ten, that was six fortune and ten power points. And I, I love how you have the like, lightsaber out as you're running down this narrow passage. <laughs> cutting, a, <laughs> cutting my way through things, yeah. Oh my god. Lock, um, yeah, I just like do the flash moment of locking eyes with the carry. I'm like, gotcha. <laughs> she wants it. And I go to the shotgun guy. That's my turn. Gotcha. 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 All right. Uh, that was Drake's very uh, active turn. Um, the courier is up next. 
So the courier is standing at this locked door um, that you guys uh, have have set against him. Um, hearing the gunfire, he just kind of turns his head, snaps his head to it, and you can just see him reach out and he like accordions the metal of the door, just like shredding the metal with his bare hands and starts to slowly walk his speed into the building. 15. They, they sent a Terminator. That's kind of awkward. <laughs> um, Tack, you can see him just kind of slowly walking towards you. Um, and he uh, gets to this door, which I believe... I don't know if this door would be open or closed. It's not I think really we locked both of them, door. right? Oh, yeah, that's right. True. Really um, that was his action. That was that. So you can see him kind of come up there. And he's just kind of slowly walking um, towards this door. That is the courier's turn. Cassie, you're up with a 12. Uh, actually, I think it should be a 10 because for some reason my armor penalty was a plus one instead of a minus one. How does that happen? I... <laughs> anyway. Uh, so I'm a 10. I'm a 10. Awesome. Yes, you, you, yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. She's a 10. <laughs> anyway. You're a 13 um... in my book. Out of what? Anyway. Ten. <laughs> okay, no. Uh Gassy is going to I'm sorry, did did you did you not move the guy who was coming out of the bathroom? Uh he op he immediately encountered Drugal. He used his minor action to draw his weapon and his major to fire. Oh. So he did not move out. He kind of saw Drugal and just shot. Okay. Well, uh, Cassie's gonna maneuver into the hall and take a shot with the Zetnik tell, I guess. Hey. Uh, is it 13? Nice. Now? Uh, oh, a 13, I don't think hits. Oh, okay, great. Let me double check. Yeah, 13 does not hit. Is it, like, really, really close? It's very, very close. If I change my 2 to a 3... That will that hit, helps? and that will... Yep, and that will activate a stunt. Yes, it will. Okay. I will spend three fortune to change that uh, that die, that two to a three, and uh, incur myself six stat points. But first, let me do some damage. Uh, that's damage? the wrong damage, sorry. It's this one. It's four <laughs> with the Zatnik tell. Gotcha, gotcha. So, piercing and all that. Yeah, ignoring, uh, yeah, exactly. Oop. Yeah, ignoring resistance or whatever it is. Ignoring armor. Gotcha, I can't so. Remember. Uh, toughness? What do I ignore? It ignores whatever. Toughness and armor. Toughness That's and right. armor. Okay. Yep. Uh, okay. So, you can see that he kind of, uh, the Zat Nicotel just kind of s skirts him. He's he's alert now and he sees you firing and kind of drops to a knee um, as it goes over him. Just to cinematically describe the the fortune aspect of it. Okay. And he, he got hurt by attack already, right? No, he hasn't no, been sh hurt yet. yet. Oh, that's right, that's right. Attack rolled low. Um, well... Uh, then I would like to use some of my stunt points to provide Tack an opportunity to attack him. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Attack. Yeah. Ah. Yep. Yep. Seventeen. Seventeen hits. They will take thirteen points of damage. Nice. I'm also going to uh, slide them over one square to there. Very nice. Beautiful. Right here? Yep. Gotcha. So, kind of uh, taking the opening that Cassie gives you as she fires, he turns his attention away from you, and you slam him with your hammer, uh, 
sending him stuttering back several feet. You can see some of the hard armor on his, uh, his body cracks under the force of your blow. Doing anything else with the rest of your stunt points, uh, Cassie? Uh, how, uh, how hurt do they look at this moment? Uh, I mean, it's fortune, so, like, they're, it's hard, you can't tell. Okay. They're not on their last legs or anything. Okay. Okay, so that was chill. Um. Uh, why not? I guess I'll, I guess I'll lightning attack. Go for it. That seems fine. Fourteen. Fourteen, uh, that hits. Seven. Seven. Damage. So this time the, the Zat kind of uh, strikes more true and you can see the electricity coursing over his armor. Uh, you know in the last century that they've invented kind of insulating materials that make it so people aren't knocked out instantly, but um, mm -hmm. you can see him kind of, uh, his muscles spasming as he is struck. Is that your turn? Uh, well, you know what? We're so low on the churn now, and I do have two stunt points left. Feel like I should... And you know what? I'll spend them to recover uh, some of the fortune I spent. Here we go. Okay, okay. Adrenaline rush. Awesome. An excellent turn, Ca Cassie. That is your turn at a 10. Security guard is up with a with a shotgun over by Drake. Is up with a 10. So, seeing you kind of sc flying towards him and, and lash uh, out with your blade of light. I was um, actually I was actually invisible when I dashed. <laughs> but you <laughs> but you're now kind of visible for a few yeah, seconds. I, I attack, am visible. Right? Yeah, yeah. All right. So he is just going to turn and level his shotgun at you and and make a shot. Uh, does a fifteen hit your defense? It sure does. I'm going to go ahead and try to deflect it. Okay. Um, and since this is an AOE weapon, remember, you can do about half. So you can basically reduce it to half. Okay. Sorry, not to interrupt too much, but I'm going to finish my movement there. Okay, okay. Because, yeah, I can move shoot. Because of tactical, tactical awareness. Perfect. So yeah, you're able to. So you can see this shot blow, um, and you swipe the your light blade of light, and it catches several of these pellets, evaporating them before you hit you. Um, but you can still feel the sting as a few of them, uh, a few of them strike your form. So you're going to take half damage from this. Yeah. So three damage, and then my armor. So no, none. <laughs> yeah. It rolled two ones and a four. We love to see it, honestly. Yeah. That plus is is low though. I think yeah, I messed something up. It should be their perception bonus. Right. Let me check. Oh yeah, I guess it's, it is just one. Odd. All right. Yeah. So um, yeah. That's the that's their damage. So you can hear the as he kind of racks the slide on it. Um, his eyes go wide as you, you basically just and tank half of the shot. Um, and he turns and he runs. <laughs> trying to get some distance between you and him because he does not know what the fuck he just saw. <laughs> All right. It's fast. I think I might have done it maybe too much. How much is this? Oh, that's, that's not too much. It's got a speed of 13 meters. Okay. Um, so uh, next up, security guard with an MA5B. So um, kind of seeing the courier come behind you, Tech, um, and getting fired at you, uh, the security guard takes a step back into this room, one, two, and he levels the MA5B at you and just unloads a stream of lead in your direction. Does a 14 hit? Nope. <laughs> so you can just see oh and he's got to roll again to see if he has to reload uh and he does so he basically just you can see he holds the trigger down on this thing until it goes click 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 
Um, and he looks down at the weapon that is now fired empty. Alrighty, uh, that is his turn. Not looking good for him. Dakiri, you're up with a 16. Alright, I can make it to the loader with my movement. I'm, I'm picturing this as being like an aliens like machine. That's exactly that's exactly it. All right, so if I still have an action left, I assume I can get it started. Yeah, and I would say your pilot thing that lets you activate things as a free action works here. So you're just basically like click, 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 like doing all the preach flight checklist shit, and you can feel this thing kind of turns on. Um, the light on top of it starts spinning amber uh, as this power loader kind of comes to life around you. All right, then that would be my turn, I believe. All righty. Uh, Drugal, you're up with a 16. All right. So Drugal's going to... Uh, oh, let me scoop right past you. Uh, to uh, Cassie here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Going to take a look into this room here and see if there are any other actual doors out of it. Yes. So once you're in here, you can see that there is a large kind of uh, kind of garage style door that goes up right here. Okay, then Drugal is going to take the two or two for loader and um, take two more of these things and scooch them on out of that big door as far as they can. Um, okay. So since these things can be moved with us and I have the fancy anti-grab loader, do I, can, can I just move them with me? Or is yeah, I would say special? Um, if you, let's see, because you used your move action, I would say if you essentially ran, you uh -huh. can move your speed again with them. Perfect. So then I'm going two to go ahead and do that. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to try and just take them out these doors. And then I'm just going to line them up with the other one that um, I, I can't see that yet. But my intention right. as a bit of a metagamer is to get the other four pods out here beautiful and you can kind of see like your guys's equipment is hooked up with cameras and stuff your heads up display so you can switch and see what other people are seeing uh, yeah you can see right there what's happening all right perfect yeah, yeah, and you can that see is, uh apologies. that's my goal is just just to run these things out and you know, come back and get the other ones if i can beautiful yeah, you can see uh, in the second one, so the first one that you've grabbed has uh, one of those Shell Tech Mining Corporation people. They're, they're Jaffa, but they, they look human. Um, and you can see that the third crate here actually has a Ferengi in it, which you recognize as Block's assistant. So you are dragging two, uh, two crates with you right now. All right, next up is the security guard with the Magnum. Uh, Cassie, you are standing adjacent to where this person is. Um... They are Question. going to, oh yeah. Um, would I be able to, when I, I don't know if that door swings in or out or whatever, but would I have been able to like, what's It's sideways, that? it's like a, it's like a Star Trek door. Oh, so there's no door to kick into his face. Oh no, sorry. That's fine. That would have been cool though. Next time. All right, I so just he, wanted to uh, get in between them and Drugal. That's that was the biggest goal. Well, you've accomplished it. So you can see, um, you kind of step into in front of him. He levels this high caliber magnum at you and starts to uh, empty it. At, so you can hear them as he fires this large caliber gun in your direction. And could you reveal that black square when you get a chance? Yeah, please. Oh, I'm I'm so sorry. I thought that I did. Apologies. Oh, and then I won't. I take my apology back. Go fuck yourself. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, does a 14 hit your defense, Cassie? Not when I use my shield. Uh, I will uh, react by using uh, spending two power points to use my shield. And let me just make sure that I can do it properly. It works. Beautiful. Uh, and uh, so I, Cassie, I will activate my um, my personal force shield, and uh, the bullets just kind of zoom, zoom, and don't 
don't hit me. <laughs> Ripples you in, the, in the shield show where the where the bullets hit. Uh, their eyes kind of go wide as they realize that they're fighting somebody who can activate a personal force field. And and I've, as I as Cassie had like slipped into the doorway after firing, before um, they had uh, she had turned towards this fucker and um, with activating the shield just kind of raises an eyebrow. Like, really? Like I wasn't ready for that? Yeah. So cocky. Got it. All right, yeah, you have him sufficiently cowed. Uh, Drake, I mean, not Drake, Tack, you are up with a 14. Perfect. So you see the courier kind of looming in the door frame behind you, and you see mm-hmm. the, the dude who just emptied the magazine of their assault rifle at you ineffectually. Yep, so Tack will follow up and move up and take a swing at the um, security guard. Go for it. 19 with 19. a stunt. Yeah, four stunt points. that do it? Yeah, that does it. 11 points of damage. Is he still up? Uh, no. He uh, has to take on a condition. He is now wound, uh, injured. So you basically have hit him and brought him to the injured condition. Okay. Um... Perfect. All right. So we will slide him into the chair, two meters, <laughs> and then we are going to move back into the right hall. That chair. And then I am going to blockade uh, with three stunt points, I believe. Actually, I have to check that because I think I have a talent that helps with that. Uh, yeah, I can move up to six meters instead of three. So, yep, I will move into the hallway and I will blockade against the courier. Excellent. So, uh, he, you knock the security guard kind of off of his feet and he kind of falls in. He's still conscious. Um, you know, he just kind of splays into this, uh, this wheelie chair and then you move and position yourself in the hallway. Wonderful. Perfect. And then I will. Sp- or we will spend the extra two stunt points we have uh, to gain fortune back with Adrenaline Rush. So gain two fortune back. Nice. And then we just bulk up in the hall. Sounds great. Tack, you're up with a 13. And the courier's on deck. Did you mean Drake? Did I say Drake? I meant, yeah, I'm sorry. Drake, you're up with a 13 in the Courier's Zone deck. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna move after in this one. I can just get there. <clears throat> I'm gonna attack him. That's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna do an all out attacking, a plus one to attack, but a minus one to defense. Probably don't need to, but whatever. Um. Uh, wow, that's a shit roll. Uh, it's a 13, which I'm pretty sure will not hit. No, it does not. So I'm gonna spend three fortune to force a stunt, bringing my total to a 14. That just hits. Yeah. Um, I gained one itty bitty little stunt point, which I'll use to gain back on fortune. And then I will roll damage. Ten points of ignore four armor. You can see as your armor kind of slices and takes off part of his uh, part of his armor, um, he is almost almost taken out. He is barely up. He yeah, didn't stun, unfortunate. Well, I didn't stun with more than one stun point. So that is that's my turn. Yeah. Tough. Them's the breaks. Unless you want to spend six fortune, right? Um, so. Did that already. Yeah. Exactly. Um, all right, Drake, is that your turn? Yeah. All righty. Uh, the courier's turn is up. Uh, the courier has come to this door frame, 
um, they just kind of, as they're walking towards it, reach out and like push like this. And you can see the door just kind of like peels and melts away before them like a, like an aluminum can. Um, and they are kind of just slowly walking up to you, Tack, where you are. Um, let them I, fight. <laughs> let me check one thing really quick, because actually they might... No, they didn't. All right. Um, they don't get a any kind of stunt attack. So that's basically where they end. So you can see as this person approaches, they're wearing a finely uh, finely tailored suit from what you can tell. Um, and they're wearing a pair of dark sunglasses. He appears to be athletic, but um, not... Not as much as being able to kind of shred these doors would would appear. Um, that is the courier's turn so far. Um, he seems to be unrushed, so to speak. Cassie, you're up with a 12. Yeah. Mm. The courier coming down towards this way really throws some shit into a different light for me. Uh, okay. Um, how's the security guard that just um, failed to get through my shield? They haven't been hit yet. Uh, how, how's their, like, demeanor, though? Like... Uh, they seem surprised and inti slightly intimidated, I would say. Like, they don't look like they're about to tuck tail and run just yet. You know. Mm. Um. You may be able to force that on your turn with, like, an intimidate check. You know, if you gave them the option to run, I think, you know, they're they're semi-cornered. You know, people would... I mean, they're a trained professional, They might, but they probably wouldn't rather die than escape, you know? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Like, would it be easier for me to try to persuade them to, to like... If I give them a zip tie, like, zip tie themselves, or, uh, or run? Uh, the zip tie would be a lot larger of a thing. You know, giving somebody an avenue to escape is a is a far cry from put yourself at my mercy, you know? Well, I'm just thinking because they're just in a small room and, like, there's how many spaces are there for them to get to run out. I mean, you can All also right, well, just, just step yeah, yeah on yeah, your yeah, turn. It's fine. it's fine. I will, um... Uh, I will just with the zap levied in their direction just say... Two seconds to decide to run out of here of your own volition. In your current state of health. One. Roll me a, a communication, I'm guessing intimidate? Would persuasion work? I feel like this is intimidation. Well, okay. Seventeen. Nice. Uh, that's very good. Um, their willpower is not that high. So um, you can see he kind of hears the assault rifle shot. He, I think he wit he I think he witnessed the the thing go soaring down the hallway and exploding out. Um, he kind of looks at the door and just kind of gives you a, a, a stoic nod, like kind of a quick nod. Straight out the exit. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. See ya. All right, um, that's your major action. Anything you're doing with your minor? <laughs> this motherfucker down here has me concerned. What's tax body language? Like prepared to duke it out with the courier, or ready to like ready to follow me out if I run? Um. Tack is basically, like, turtled up in the hallway to keep him from making it to you guys while you all make it out with the things. So, full defensive posture. Okay. 
game just remind me, sorry, um, there's a lot going on. Drugal was doing what? Drugal's taking as many bodies as possible. Um, three more turns and I can get all the bodies out to this big hallway here where um, Drake dropped the first one. Three more turns? Yep, because I have to run once. I have to run two back, run back, and then run the other two out. Yeah, I'll put two right next to you. three turns. I mean... Uh... <laughs> So if you, you could put the what hole in the wall, you could push another one of those. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, I guess I'll do that. Fuck. So with your minor action, you're gonna move into that room with the cryopods? I guess, I guess so. Oh. Alright. So move your speed uh, to get yourself in the room, and on the next turn you can start ferrying, uh, ferrying cargo. Oops. Oh gosh, that's all I can get? No, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna so go you... this way and, and, and help this direction. Assembly line it. Okay. Yeah, we'll, uh, relay. We'll relay it. Sure. Yep. How about that? Okay. Perfect. 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 Yeah. So if you it. stand next to that worker droid, I can shove these towards you. My next turn, grab this other one down here. Uh, this other two fur, and grab back in and get the other two. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Well. You guys have a plan. And then can you the... move this this guy somewhere else so that I? I mean, they'll I move don't on his forget. turn. Okay. He'll move on his turn. That's right. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I'm just trying to, like, not worry about things. That I'm That's fine. Ignore and me. It, I'm done. The little, the little worker drone droid kind of beeps at you, like, to warn you to stay out of its way as you kind of run past it. <laughs> like, kind of annoyed that you're in its way of its work. Um, dude with a shotgun. Drake is just kind of closing on him. Um... Uh, yeah, because due to the shotgun's turn is up with a 10 at the bottom of the initiative. He's just going to kind of rack the shotgun and take another shot at you, Drake, because he, uh, well, you're just kind of advancing on him. Um, so he's going to make his attack and make his roll. That does 14 hit. hit? That does ah, hit. Ah, damn. Yep. Are you going to well, try I, to block I, it at all? It's a TN 16 right now because of my thing. It's pretty steep. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Beautiful. I need to spend the power points from last time I did it too. Yeah, I make it. I deflect it. <laughs> so... All right, so taking half of 12-6 with your armor, so... So I take is one, one? damage, yeah. So he just... And you can just see the sparks fly as your as your uh, blade of light just kind of sends, like, molten lead against the wall. And you can just see, like, the, the eyes opening with realization. Um, and they just uh, use their minor action one, two... <laughs> And you can tell now they're just kind of like running with their shotgun. All right, uh, top of the initiative with an 18. This guy is injured. Um, he is going to spend a minor action reloading his assault rifle. Um, and he is going to use a major action. Comes out here, sees the courier, and then continues moving with their major action. And they are using the run action, so they can use the, they can double their move. So they and the shotgun guy are out there, and they seem to be kind of like making their way, making their way downtown, moving fast. Dakiri, you're up with a 16. You're in a fucking power loader right now. Uh, is, is that part of the? Uh, is that actual token? Oh yeah, it is. Let me uh, let me give you uh, permission of it. One second. What it, what is the land speed of the <laughs> power walker? Uh, I would it's say... An unladen power loader. <laughs> European. Yeah. 
And I'm gonna get it controlled by all players now. You should be able to move the power loader now. Okay. Um, I would say the the speed is uh, just ten, so you don't get to add your dexterity to to your speed. All good. So two. I'm gonna pick up the uh, the package. Beautiful. Four, six, eight, ten. I think that's where I'd get about. Beautiful. And you can see the way that these arms on this power loader are set up. You could carry like four of them stacked, right? Like it's kind of like, it's almost got like forklift hands if you wanted to like carry a bunch of them at once. Did it, did it, did it glide? Is it on like a repulsor of some sort? Uh, the power loader or, or the, yeah. the coffin? The coffin. It is. Yeah, it's got a, they, they basically got a, like a little repulsor floater right now. So you can kind of just push it or you can... Pick yeah, so if I could if I could push it towards the airlock, I would. Okay, you actually have a very high strength. Roll me a strength might test and add plus ten to it. Oh no! <laughs> what the plus ten? That you can add that to melee damage. I'm making it plus five to melee damage right. just because that's like absurd. Right. Like, is that? Am I? I'm not rolling it with. Am I rolling it with with my strength? No, it's just the. That's the. Add problem. ten to your strength. Add 10 to your strength, so whatever your strength is, add 10 to it. Uh, my, oh, my strength or just add, my or just roll it and then add 10 to the roll. All right, so that's it, that's 19. 19, so, uh, perfect. Let me see, one second. Yep, so you basically just kind of send this thing soaring and it, it like quickly overcomes like the inertia that the gravity lift can do and it just starts scraping along the floor sparks flying and reaches the airlock uh in a single push so it is there like kind of boom against the airlock door and falls back down um with your like speed as you swing. yeah all right that's my turn <laughs> the clamps all right uh next up Drugal, you're at a 16. Alrighty, so Drugal is going to run out these doors with these two on the piece here. Um, trying to get out to here and give them a bit of a shove towards Cassie so Cassie can move them. Run down here, grab this guy, and then run back in to get the last gotcha. two. And uh, load up the last two, uh, oh, for lack of a better term, last two bodies. Perfect. Um, and as you're in here, you do see blood on this table, and you can see, like, gauze and stuff. If you look in the little viewing window on this cryotube, you can actually see what appears to be one of those prestige security guys um, in there as well. So you're thinking maybe one of them got injured in the scuffle, and they have them in cryo to keep them, like, stabilized. It's basically perfect. stasis. Perfect. I'll take somebody to question. That's fine. Um... That's good that this blood isn't experimentation, which was the first thought I had. Um, so, here we are. I'm taking them gotcha. all. That's okay. Gotcha. Who's in that last tube? Uh, that last tube uh, is another uh, human-looking person, but it could be uh, it could be a Jaffa. Shell Tech Mining Corporation would be your guess. Okay, so two Shell Tech, a Prestige... Uh, um, uh, an assistant and Palak. Yep. Perfect. Take them all. So you grab the last two and start moving towards the door? Mm-hmm. Excellent. Alright, I'm gonna put two more coffins on the on the thing. Coffins. Chase. Cryo tubes. Cryo tubes, coffins, whatever. What they have are you? two very different things. <laughs> Could go. Actually, the, could go the, colloquial, the colloquial term is coffin. Uh, you know, like cold storage. There's a lot of terminology for it, you know. Cracking open a cold one. Yeah, with my boys. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, next up, good job. Uh, on a 15 initiative, the the guy with the magnum in the high frequency knife steps out. He sees Tack and the courier kind of facing off, so he, ten, thirty, and then he basically is moving double speed, um, and just kind of sprinting out of the out of the thing. Cassie, you can see that he kind of is 
uh, taking your option to leave. He knows what's good for him. Tack, you're up with a 14, and Drake, you're on deck with a 13. Tack will strike out at the courier. Eighteen. Beautiful. Eighteen hits. Eight points of damage. Alrighty. Uh, let me see. And we will push him back two meters. Let me check one thing. How long does your darkness last, Akiri? Five minutes. It's gone. Forever. Forever. Let me check one thing really quick. Actually expanding. At an exponential <clears throat> rate. Got it. So, um, perfect. I would say, uh, yeah, you slam into him with your hammer, and you can feel this reverberation back up through your arm um, as the hammer slams into him, and... You can tell that he barely takes a step back with the strike that you hit him with. Um, but he does indeed take a step back as you hit him. Perfect. That will be our turn. Let me check one thing. Um, perfect. Um, all right, that is your turn. Drake, you're up with a 13. Okay, so Drake will go invisible again, because that happens at the start of each of his turns. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Okay. Per oh, perfect. With the minor action, the they're going to move uh, five times their speed, so 55. And it will this guy move out of the way? I can make a move if he won't. Uh... You know, I would say it would be fun to describe it like you bidding him, because he wouldn't even have time to respond. You're moving yeah, so yeah. fast. Okay, then I will move him out, move him out of the way. I burst through speed, assuming these, because these two guys are fleeing, right? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they get to live. Um, and then uh, I will uh, appear here after a burst of speed, spending five power points. <laughs> oh, but I did stunt actually, which I would, I, I had a game plan for, but now I need to think of this real quick. Um, but I'll, I'll resolve those two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I have two power points left. <laughs> gotcha. And then I'm, I'm gonna make an attack. Um, I'm gonna use four, all four of my power points to increase my defense by two. And then I'm gonna make, good. Then I'm gonna make an attack. rolling from the wrong thing. I'm going to make this an all... Nah, I'm just going to make this an attack. 19 to hit? Oh my god, yes, 19 hits. Uh, no. I'm going to keep my fortune. I'm just going to roll damage. Oh, why can't I get fat stunts on my attacks? Oh, I, ro sticks. I rolled that on accident. But, um, 12 points of ignore four armor. Got it. So you kind of come up behind and you, uh, uh, I'm guessing overhead strike or uh, actually describe yeah. your attack. You can go ahead. Go ahead and describe it. Sure. So you kind of come in and you slash across the back of this, this form um, and you can feel strong resistance from your blade, almost like you would from an airlock. And you can see like the back of his, uh, his suit cuts open and his skin and you can just see exposed metal. Um, below his skin. Um, and your lightsaber did some damage to him. Yeah, yeah, um, blade of light. Blade of light. Blade, blade of light. 12. Ignore four armor, but I know that he probably has like seven or eight armor. More be more. And that's my turn. Um, and he just kind of like slowly turns his head to look at you. Um, I wink. He, uh, he Not takes a... flirting with the Terminator. On a 13, the, the Terminator takes a step... Uh, the Terminator... The Courier takes a step forward, um, and he just goes to take a swing at you, Tack. 
find his character sheet. And this can't hurt that much, right? <laughs> Apparently not. Miss. Um, I would say as he misses you, he can spend fortune. Uh oh. Of course he can spend fortune. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's going to spend four fortune to raise that to a uh, 17. Yep, that will hit. Gotcha. So you, you kind of go to, to duck him, um, and he very quickly responds. Oh, sorry, that was the wrong thing. Uh, did it pull the damage? Oh, <laughs> uh, 14 points of damage. Is any of it armor piercing? No. So I only take six of that. Awesome. Um, so you can feel like as his fist rings out, bam, and like your shield rings like a bell. Um, and he is going to use disarm on you. So you need to make an opposed melee check with him. Is disarm just one stun point then? It's two stun. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. I I rolled twice. That's wrong. Um, but I was wondering. Thank you. Yeah. Apologies. So he either used eight fortune, or he only. Has no, one. he did. I, I I'm sorry. I accidentally hit his roll twice, and so I looked up and saw the two for the second carrier smash. That's okay. Um, so instead, he is going to use. Parry. Your opponent suffers a one minus one to defense per stunt point spent until your next turn. Um, so, basically your arm is reverberating you get a minus one to your defense as he punches into the metal of it. Alrighty. Uh, and that is the courier's turn. Cassie, you are up with a 12. Okay. Ooh. How, how far did we determine that I can move with these things? Uh, I think you can move, uh, you can move your speed, you can move twice your speed. Okay. Um, so I'm spending my, my turn getting these things as far out of here, like, along the assembly line as I can. I guess, um, just pushing them down out this way towards Takiri, and I'm gonna... And comms be like, uh, to carry incoming. Yeah, and it looks like so 26, yeah, 26 meters. That's pretty far. You can get them. Come on. I clicked the, the thing like three times. Yeah, you can get them. You can basically get them to where to is now. I mean, you're cutting a corner. I'm not going to make you uh, path it out exactly. So, yeah, you can get it right there. I'm yep. just, just going to get close enough to pass the baton, so to speak. Yep. And Absolutely. then turn around and run right back. So. Beautiful. You got them right here. You know you don't need to run right back because I have the last two. Oh, you have the last two? Mm-hmm. I have the last two. Okay. All right. So now we all need to get to the airlock so that I can open it. <laughs> so, uh, the airlock is right there. Um, so then Cassie is going to, with the miner... Do I have any movement left after getting here, or no? Um, I would say, because you, if you're using your whole turn, you would have your movement. I'll do one more, because run is two times your movement, move is one, so you normally can use three times your movement in a turn. So yeah, you would have, you would have movement. Okay. Um... So I think instead of going all the way here, Cassie would go to about here with shoving shoving these things forward towards Dakiri and then duck into the hallway here. Just beautiful. Just like just just kind of skidding in <laughs> and and ready to either heal or shoot. I don't know which. Got it. Alrighty. So Cassie, a very uh, a very effective turn. Um, running the other two uh, cryo units. To where they need to be um 
On initiative count 10, the security guard with the shotgun, he just sprints out and essentially off the map um, to get away from uh, from the area. Um, also, though, on a, an initiative count 10, uh, Dakiri, from where you're standing, um, a series of yellow lights start spinning around this kind of like landing pad area where you had been in your, um, where you got into the power loader and uh, a, a mechanism opens up in the ceiling and dropping from the ceiling next to you is a recognizable figure <gasps> of Sarah Palmer in yeah! her own fucking power loader. Let <sighs> them fight. Let them and she fight. looks to you and she points the like, like extra large claws at you and says, you put that, sh <laughs> like, you return what belongs to us. <laughs> and her own power loader. Wait a minute! Didn't we save her ass? No. No. This is a the no. This guard. is this is security guard that you guys fought. And this is the leader of the prestige that was trying to get Pol Polak the first time. We might have spared oh. her life. We might have spared her life. Oh, sorry. I thought she was somebody else. Never mind. Ignore me. Um, and she is going to take a step forward one, and she is going to swipe at you uh, with the uh, with the mecha suit at, at you. We got two kaiju battles going on. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it because I had a lot of fun thinking up this fucking this fucking Epic. scene. So um, your your defense, I. The defense penalty for the loader is pretty high. It's like, you know, you basically can't really dodge super well, so... Um, yeah, it's probably a minus, a minus three to your defense right now. Same with them. If it's a minus three, it hits. Okay. Um, but you do have uh, you do have some extra armor from this thing. Uh, this thing adds essentially four to your, four to your existing armor. Okay. So 13. So uh, four to my existing armor, which is five. So nine, four points. Beautiful. Minus your toughness, because you get to add your toughness into that, right? <laughs> toughness. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> so you can see uh, this large mech kind of swings down at you and um, slams into the form of the mech that you're in uh, currently. All right, that is her turn with a thing. And then 18 initiative, the guard of the security, uh, the assault rifle keeps running. Uh, 16, Droogle, you're up. And then Dakiri, you're on deck with another 16. Okay. So I'm just running. I'm running. Okay, so okay. we are, let me be smarter than my computer. So some 30 feet or so will get me out here as I skid around this corner, probably taking it too wide with the two things. I'm going to come a little closer to this wall than I was planning to um, with the last two of these things, which I will abandon and then continue running my next turn. So. Awesome. <laughs> and you, as you kind of round the corner, you see two of these large mecha loaders, the light spinning on the top, kind of engaging in battle. Um, Dikiri, you're up with a 16. All right, sorry, was that your real turn? I'm guessing it was because of 30 feet of movement. Is, yeah, that's my whole turn. And then I'm getting ready to do... Uh, yeah, because I can run and then bypass as a minor. So, yeah. Perfect. All right, Dakiri, you're yeah, up with a 16. Um, so this thing moves, like, with my hands, right? Like, as I move right. with my arms. Yeah. So Dakiri looks at the, the arm of the loader, looks down at hers. I wonder if this will work. And what she does is she, she tries to create a shadow dagger the size of the loader. Yes! Slam it down. <laughs> roll, your, roll your source check. <laughs> oh, this has got to work. Nice. Uh, it, uh, it does work. You can, oh man, if you spin, oh, sorry, I don't, I'm not going to tell you what to do. You can spin fortune to do like extra stunt and you could make the thing do more damage. Yeah, we're doing that. Uh, oh, yes. Four fortune. Because it's a six. 
I don't. Is Cassie within view? No, she's not. Uh, okay, so the damage on the Shadow Dagger is nine, and that's all penetrating, is it not? It is all penetrating, yep. And are you adding anything else with your with your your power stunt? Uh, well, I got to do a lightning attack. Um, oh, okay, but I can't, sure. I, I can't do the shadow dagger on a lightning attack, right? So it would just be uh, so I have to roll for the slam. Sorry, power stunt lets you. If you have your power stunts, you can do a lot of things specific oh, to the, the power, power like stunts. even increasing sorry. the damage. Yep. Yeah. Good call. You could spend five to increase it by two d six, or you could spend like four to do fast use if you're trying to do like the power equivalent of a lightning attack. Uh, adding I'm adding the 2d6, the 2D6 I think, would be yeah. pretty hot. Yes, oh, very, yeah. very hot. All right. Um, so. <laughs> 11 two, churn, six, yes. Six, four. Oh, it would only be four more, but still, something. Four Penetr penetrating, so 13 points of penetrating damage. So you, <laughs> you look down, you're like, man, I hope this works. And then a massive Akori appear, like Shadow Akori appears in your hand and just passes through, um, uh, passes through the armor of the of the thing, cutting like right into her, and you can see her eyes go wide as she's kind of set back as this Akori slams into her body, um, but she is still up. All right, and I, that was five points, right? So I don't. Um, can I still take the adrenaline rush off of a power stunt or no? Yeah. Yes, you can. Right, so I will do that then, and that will be my turn. Alrighty. Um, on a 15, this security guard looks back and sees the shit going down, and just fucking books it as fast as as fast as he can. Essentially, you know, getting off of the map. The three of them. Running with their lives. Leave uh, your limbs! Those belong to me! <laughs> <laughs> That's from Kill Bill, in case anyone's yeah. curious. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tack, you're up with a 14. Alright. So, Tack is going to guard up at a plus 2, which should offset okay. the parry from last turn. And then Tack will uh, bring their shield up and stunt attack to try to uh, push him back. Awesome. Let me roll that. And that's at a minus two, so 14 with no stunt. And I'm not gonna force it because I don't have the fortune to do so. So, yep. Okay. That's my turn. So, uh, sorry, so you were, you were trying to do stunt attack? Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's, uh, that's a 13 on the attack, which oh, I'm guessing does oh, not hit him. Uh, 13 does hit him. He's not, oh, he's okay. not very, he, he's not very dodgy. <laughs> I get he's all it. armor, that one. <laughs> Where's Cassie? Cassie is within line of sight, so I end up with two stun points. That's right. That's right. Uh, and yeah, so taunt. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Well, he's supposed to taunt. Dakiri is not. <laughs> Actually, no, no. We'll we'll do double team because they they're already pretty focused on me. So, uh, double that team with Drake. True. Okay. Um, sounds sounds good. So you just basically you you use the stunt attack to trigger double team so that Drake could attack. Beautiful. Um, yeah, so you basically kind of like uh, open up a parry and Drake, you get an attack on. Yeah, that definitely is. <laughs> you sick God. bastard. I wish that was on my turn. <laughs> uh, eight, I know, eight points of ignore for armor. God, that was a beautiful roll. I would have eaten him gotcha. up. Um, yeah, you can see your like blade uh, kind of shish, and cuts like another rivet out of the back of his uh, armor. Not quite as much as last time. Yeah. Pack, is that your turn? Yep. Uh, it is the courier's turn. They are going to try to smash you again with their blow. Oh, 20 hits with a six. Oh, with one stunt point. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm just going to check and see if I have any other interesting stuff. 
Does my hair keep falling? Eh. Okay. That's you're doing weird things with it. Yeah, it's now it's over the thing. Yeah, um, that's not gonna help you. He is gonna try to grab you to grapple. So uh, you guys need to make uh, opposed fighting grappling rolls. Yeah, I definitely so, don't have grappling as a thing. You taunt him, and he just he, he just reaches out with his two hands, grabs you. Uh, you can feel his fingers crush into the armor of your shoulders, and he picks you up off the ground. Um, it's a Terminator! And he is going to do his damage. Thirteen points of damage. As he kind of... Um, so, with as part of the scrapple to do the damage, he just slams you into the wall. Like, because you're in this kind of, like, narrow hallway now. And now he's, like, trying to slam you back and forth against the walls in this narrow hallway. You all hear tech yell out in pain. Okie dokie. Uh, that's Curious Jordan with a... Is 13? Uh, Drake. Oh, uh, that was his major. Um, oh, I should have went before him, right? I think you should have, yeah. Just swap. Sorry us. about that. That's okay. He can finish. Um, I don't think you can... I don't know what the rules are for moving with somebody that you have grappled. I don't think they have any. Okay. You could make um, it half movement. Yeah, that's what I would say. So I would say he starts walking down the hallway with you, Tack. Kind of like holding you up like a child. Cassie, you can see the Terminator just pick up Tack and his... Well, the courier, and is walking towards you. Uh, Drake, you're up on the 13th. Okay. Um, oh my god. Oh wow, that rock. No, 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 we're not doing that. Okay. Um, I'm invisible again. <laughs> I'll move my minor, minor to do this, and then we'll see what this is giving. Uh, can I roll from here? Does this work? Uh, uh, nah. I'm annoyed. <laughs> that, that does hit, though. I know, but I want a fucking stunt! <laughs> <laughs> Spend eight, spend four power points, or eight power points, make it happen, or eight fortune, make it happen. The stunt die isn't worth it. It's just not worth it, Miss Mama. I knew this. I was like, I'm rolling so hot, and when combat comes, like, yeah, I'll hit, but the stunts won't be there. It's just going to be... One second, I'm just checking a stunt. There's a lot of good options here. Um, I'm going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am going to spend four fortune um, to force a stunt of two, of three stunt points with Cassie in the mix. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to spend all three of those to give myself... No, I'm going to spend two of them to give myself a plus si uh, six to initiative. So I've, I've <laughs> done that so you can reorder reorganize that. And then I'm gonna roll okay. for damage, and I'll tell you what I do with my last one. So you said plus six to the initiative? Yeah, I already added it. Perfect. Twelve points of ignore four armor. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. And then I'm gonna use one stunt point to reduce uh, their initiative by one. Okay, okay. For the rest of the encounter. Oh. <laughs> it does and, I, it. <laughs> and I, I would put them beneath beneath Cassie to make sure you Ex do that. Exactly. Um, okay. Uh, Cat, that is, is that your turn? Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, Cassie, you are up with a 12. I kind of just gave him a second turn. Whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> you just kind of did. I noticed that. Okay, well, okay, um, okay, um, yeah, no, <laughs> um, well, uh, I'm gonna heal Tack. 
what I'm gonna do. Gotcha. Hey, the stunt is there and the dice are good. Okay, so that definitely works. I have five stunt points to work with. Um, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to use... Four stunt points to split power. Um, and one to make it cheaper. No, uh... No, there's nothing I can do with that to use one. Um, so that's fine. But I will use, um, like I said, the four to split the power between the two of them. Awesome. Spend those points and let me roll my dice. Uh, you each get eight points of fortune back. Gorgeous. Who's each? Um, Sorry. Uh, you, so Drake and Tack. Oh, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. And then um, I'm also going to. So the wrong. That's the wrong page. Uh, I have one stun point left. I guess what I'm going to do is use. All trying to get the hell out of here, right? Yeah. No, actually, here's what I'm here's uh here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use um, skirmish, and I'm going to let myself move. <clears throat> okay. Um, because I can't let Tack move because he's grappled, right? That wouldn't work. Uh, correct. I th wait. Actually, let me check. If you win, they can't move from where they are on their next turn. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to say. Maybe you can move them. I didn't use skirmish because I didn't have anywhere I thought I could move attack or whatever. Right. You move yourself or the attack's target two meters in any direction. Um, yeah, it doesn't say. I mean, I still have my movement. Right. Could I, like, try to pull Tack out of the courier's grip? I don't know. Um, you know, let's, right now, let's maybe make it, uh, I'll give Tack uh, an option for, like, an opposed strength check to, to make the move. How's that? Sure. So, so like, can I, uh, do something like, le like, lend some sort of assistance there? Um, I'm letting you use your thing to even let him do it, if that makes sense. Like, so if you're using skirmish to let Tack move, because normally it's yourself oh, you or your mean, target. Oh, you mean right now before Tack's turn? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Isn't cool. that what you're asking? Th that works. Just anything yeah, to, like, have me help Tack get out of the grip. Sure. Whether yeah, so it's Tack... on Tack's turn or right now, I don't care. Yeah. Sure, I would have it be right now. So Tack makes a strength, uh, cool. a strength might test, uh, opposed to, uh... The couriers. Perfect. We are much better at that. If the courier doesn't have the strength of a power ladder. 17. <laughs> Dude, uh, let me check here. 17, that's pretty good. What? Oh, no. <laughs> what? That, that's what? not true. I think that's broken. 
Oh, that's the loader mark. Well, that was the loader. Oh, mark. I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> That would have been bad! <laughs> Does it have the strength of a loader mech? <laughs> proceeds, <laughs> proceeds to roll the strength of a loader mech? Oh, that's not that much better! How? <laughs> it rolled almost an 18. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Things are really strong. Also, it's a plus 9, which is not nothing to sneeze at, but holy shit. So, yeah, so you, you go to get Tack, and Tack goes, and you can just hear the metal in the in Tack's armor shearing as he tries to, as they try to pull away. Um, the courier has a strong grip on Tack. And that's your turn, I believe. I was gonna move, and now I'm really worried about moving. What are you gonna do? 901? Um, very cool question. He was moving... The courier was moving menacingly towards me, pushing Tack, like, carrying Tack toward me, right? Correct. Fuck out of there! <laughs> Go! <laughs> Hello? Run! Yeah. He's, gonna, he's gonna use Tack to beat you to death. Fly! Yeah. That's, literally, that's, that's literally what he was gonna do! Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use maybe. whatever's handy to, to melee! Not the whatever's handy! <laughs> I'll beat a motherfucker right. with another motherfucker. Yeah, mother I'm just fucker. trying to be able to continue, to, like, keep eyesight to Tack if, in case the courier moves Tack further into the hallway. And, and I just, I know, I know it's 901. Um, do we want to go to the bottom of the initiative and then call it, or do we just want to call it here? That sounds good. We can. I, I'm good with finishing the round. No. Yeah. Okay. So Sorry, you guys... I gave the courier another turn. <laughs> yeah, it How does dare work. you? God damn, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you did a good thing. Like that? Yeah, it does. I mean, because when you move up, it yeah. immediately yeah, but benefits it's the same you. Round, though. It, it... I don't see how a detriment could give him two actions. I don't know. Um. So he, yeah, he is going to try to use. Um. Are you invisible? No, you just attack Matthew, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm. Uh, I'm visible. He's going to try to use uh, a stunt attack to use whatever is handy to attack you with tag. I think a 20 succeeds. Sure um, does. Against my defense, right? Right. Yeah. And so he is going to swing you. I'm going to say that uh, this is just kind of like his melee smash damage as he swings around and tries to hit you with tack. <laughs> uh, you take 10 points of damage. Okay. Um, it's not armor pierce or anything. And tack, you are no longer grappled as, uh, as he kind of sends you... Uh, piling into each other. I actually have an armor and a t plus my con is actually seven right now, so that wasn't that nice. Yeah, smack, but I do get well whapped. Hey, at least yep. I'm the one who paid for my mistake. <laughs> exactly. Um, back, you find yourself immediately freed. Uh, Cassie just went Sarah Palmer's turn at the bottom of the initiative, and then we're going to call it for this evening. Sarah Palmer in this armor uh, kind of uh, is rocked by you, and she is going to kind of lash out and try to, like, stab into you with these, uh, with the forks on this power loader's arms. So this was a, this was a whole thing. I can't wait to come back to this next week. Does a 16 hit? I mean, if it's still negative three to defense, yes. <laughs> yeah. She's easy to hit, too. Um, oh, God. 15 points of damage. But you have plus four to it. Okay. How you doing? Okay. Um, She's not going to spend any fortune, because that would be too much. Um, but yeah, she's gonna slam into you with these. Oh, she's kind of a, she's kind of a body. Um, and yeah, then she, I guess that's what she was gonna do. She's fixated on you right now, so she doesn't move. Um, and that is, I think, where we are gonna call it for the evening. <laughs> that was Fun everything time. I wanted. <laughs> Okay, let me stop the sounds really quick, and then we'll get into the outro. So, uh, what did, a ride! Yeah, oh my goodness, started so off so good, healthy, and you couldn't really oh ask for much more out of a system like this, right? Yeah.
I fucking love the stunts. All right, um, all right, guys. So uh, we are going to go around and say our favorite moments. Uh, if you haven't entered our giveaway yet, look at my wonderful hair. Um, type in big churn because we hit thirty churn tonight, and so we're gonna give away a shit ton of uh, PDFs. Uh, so um, let's go ahead. Tell us a little bit about yourselves. Oh, and don't forget to enter the uh, the player giveaway also. Um, yeah, fun times. All right, let's go. I'm going to call on reverse order. I'm going to call on Alexis. Alexis, favorite moments where they can find you. Okay, hi, I'm Alexis. You can find me at Vox Fanato on Twitter, where these days I'm mostly just posting about Valheim. So check that out. It's great. I made a fun meme. Yay. Uh, and I and I showcased some of my, my builds there. And I have a lot of fun with that. Um, my favorite moment was probably, <laughs> I love the buildup of the courier being alluded to and then showing up and then the, <laughs> the ramp up of him just accordioning the freaking door to the crushing hug with tack, like that escalation freaking. Mm. Loved it. Hated it. On out. <laughs> Love that. Um, so all of that. Yes. Uh, Tack. Uh, Rob, go. Rob at Permits are 804. He, him. Um, I don't have any other announcements to make. Favorite moment. There's so many good ones. I think just the the picture of like Drake running around blipping in and out of like visibility and like chasing these guys down is just fantastic. So good. And I will pass it over to Sean. Hi, uh, Sean. I'm here every Saturday. Um... My favorite moment, uh, there were a couple, but uh, I'm, I'm going to go with the initial infiltration with Drake, <laughs> taking out Frank and Jackson uh, in short order with his diving out of the, the illusion. And I will pass this over to Liz. Hey, I think that's me. Uh... My name is Liz. You can find me at No One You Know Backwards. Um, it's spelled out on this beautiful overlay underneath my face. Um, and um, let's see, favorite moment from the evening. Um, probably Tack squaring off in the hallway and just being Tack. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and just waiting for this badass Terminator courier thing to show up, knowing that it was alluded to, and then like the humans were afraid of it. Um, and Tax like, well, I don't care what the humans think. I'm here now, and I'm going to smack it. And he did. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, you can find me on this channel doing things. Um, so I'm here periodically throughout the week and I think I need to pass it to Matthew. Yeah. Hi folks. I am Matthew Foreman. You can find me here on Dice Priori a few nights a week. You can also find me on my own channel, twitch.tv slash Matt Foreman, where I'm streaming Dead by Daylight as a survivor. I will not be streaming next week. I'm taking, um, all of next week off of my personal stream, but you'll catch me back on Tuesday, May the 4th. Uh, for more Survivor and some killer. Um, come learn how to loop and juke as I learned how to loop and juke and sometimes kill people in the game. Uh, my favorite moment, gosh, what a ride this whole episode was. I think it was just like, I don't know, like um, a do taking out those guards was fucking hilarious and then chat going off on it. But I mean, this episode had it all. Infiltration, hacking, intimidation, the Goliath fight, Dakiri shadow daggering. This, like, we've got everything. We've got it all. <laughs> and I would just had too much fun from everything from taking out the guards to the Terminator showing up uh, to the fucking second loader dropping. You, you son of a bitch. That was awesome. 
<laughs> I can't wait to pick this back up next uh, week. So yeah, that's me. Uh, Charles, Charles, back to you. Awesome. Well, thanks everybody. I'm Chase. You can find me at Chase314S on Twitter. You can also find me on all of our socials where I post, uh, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I post fun TTRPG memes every single week. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, favorite moment from the evening. I think honestly, just your guys's enjoyment from it. Like all the things you said before, I love just the diverse use of abilities. I love the infilt, like it started with infiltration and disarming uh, the guards um and then i think the 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 mental standout one though is um when De uh when dakiri activated the extra large shadow uh, cory and just slammed into the other one that was that was pretty sweet um yeah i don't know i was i was actually cackling to myself quite a bit as i was putting together this encounter just like picturing the auto loader and uh i kept on having aliens flashback <laughs> like what is it like get away from her you <laughs> in, the, in the armor so yeah good stuff i'm excited to pick this back up next week um all righty I think I am ready to uh, do the drawings for the giveaway. And then I think stick around because we are going to be raiding, it looks like, indoor recess crew. So let's go ahead and do the drawing for the big churn right now. All right. Let me close that. And T-Bone. Woo, T-Bone. Long friend of the channel. Exciting. We'll get in contact with T-Bone. To give them all those fun books. And then, uh, let's see. Actually, I think we'll check something in a minute. Um, let's go ahead and do the player giveaway. Uh, nobody entered. Ah, T-Bone mm -hmm. says, how did I win? I think, I think T-Bone entered once before a long time ago. Yeah, it's from when we started weeks ago, a month, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. Ah. Well, I'm sorry, uh, Ashenworks, that you only saw the one. Woohoo! Permanent winner! Yeah, exactly. So, awesome. Well, congratulations, T-Bone. And, uh, yeah, and Ashenworks, actually, we need to get you your uh, DMs kit from last week. So we'll get you that after the session. Stick around. We're raiding our friends um, over at Indoor Recess Crew. And then we'll catch you here oh, next look, week. Oh, look, we have an entry. Oh, my God! Yes! <laughs> We have an entry. I didn't think about that. I didn't close it. Uh, Raffles, did I close? <laughs> Ashenworks <laughs> won! Woo! Ashenworks! They won the GM's kit last week, the player's kit this week. Got it. Look at all easy this. Easy clap. Easy clap. Like, if these were PDFs of expanded <laughs> stuff, we'd be doing that. So, we'll be getting those over to you. That's awesome. I, You know, you can tell I'm a little fried. I didn't even think to do that. That would have been cool. Yeah, exactly. Alrighty, folks, stick around. Help us raid our friends. We appreciate everyone being here. We, uh, you know, all your support is it means the world to us. Um, we're gonna raid those people, and then we'll see you next time, next week.